big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Drink all the sake I want. Read all the manga I want. Wear all the bait that I want. Buy all the J's that I want. Be with any girl that I want. Drive any car that I want. I'm always out of the country. I'm sorry if I ain't home. If the money ain't calling, I never answer my phone. You can see the flow in my chakra. All we smoke is homegrown. You know the boy love ramen. Probably sipping on me, so I know a spot that has shield. I got a spot that has deals. Wait till I get a kimono. I'ma swag it out in my dojo. Some girls are asking for a photo. I guess this happens in Kyoto. When you're young and popping in Kyoto. I ball with all of my Nakamas. I dance with all of my Nakamas. I drink with all of my Nakamas, yeah. I only listen to Ko. I touch down with peace. Hero Isekai, Shinara Irekai. You are my enemy. You are no friend of me. You covered in jealousy. We only drink Hennessy. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. When I got money, you know it. When you got money, you blow it. How much you caught me a rolly? I'm living like Zach and Cody. Sweet life from young in the OG. From young, we learn to maneuver. I pick up a skirt in our Uber. I grew up with killers and shooters. No tell, but I think I'm cooler. I used to sleep with a deuce, deuce. I'm the moon god, got the juice, juice. You switching sides like the man Bruce. Tight circle, cut the loose ends. No, I can't go on vacation. You cannot escape from the matrix. I wrote all this shit in the basement. Art is my new occupation. Let's meet up at Kennedy Station. I've been at studio all day. I'd rather just make it the hallway. Sitting back while I'm looking up. Remember backyards cooking up. I just want to be big. I want to be big. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. Drink all the sake I want. Read all the manga I want. Wear all the bait that I want. Buy all the J's that I want. Be with any girl that I want. Drive any car that I want. Drive any car that I want. Big in Tokyo, I wanna be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo, I wanna be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo, I wanna be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo, I wanna be big in Tokyo. Drink all the sake I want, read all the manga I want, wear all the bait that I want, buy all the J's that I want, be with any girl that I want, drive any car that I want. I'm always out of the country. I'm sorry if I ain't home. If the money ain't calling, I never answer my phone. You can see the flow in my chakra. All we smoke is homegrown. You know the boy love ramen. Probably sipping on me, so I know a spot that has shield. I got a spot that has deals. Wait till I get a kimono. I'ma swag it out in my dojo. Some girls are asking for a photo. I guess this happens in Kyoto. When you're young and popping in Kyoto. I ball with all of my Nakamas. I dance with all of my Nakamas. I drink with all of my Nakamas, yeah. I only listen to Ko. I touch down with peace. Hiro Isekai, Shinara Irekai. You are my enemy. You are no friend of me. 
You covered in jealousy. We only drink Hennessy. Big in Tokyo. I want to be big in Tokyo. know how to start this <laughs> congratulations to argentina you got the throw the champs you are the current world champions messi's the greatest footballer of all time it's over i am i think i'm the big i'm the biggest ronaldo fan i know it's over i won't let i if i see another ronaldo fan say it I'm, I'll tell him no, myself. It's done. Hell of a game, hell of a World Cup. I thought France, when they decided they wanted to fucking play, and woke up, for the most part, at least offensively. I thought it was good. Simi, you can hop in here if you want. By the way, you're not doing anything. You're just chilling. Um. Mbappe made history, being one of two players to score what a hat trick in the in the World Cup finals. When he woke up, he woke up, but I don't know where he was for like seventy minutes, and I still don't understand what happened to our defense as soon as we started playing England. Cause I think the one thing is I wasn't shocked with how this match opened up. Let me actually read the comments first. That's actually more comments than I thought. Let me hold on before I get into this. My bad. Shout out to Mbappe for real. Croissant season is over. Messi is still not back in France. I got to say, extremely crazy how when he was in Barca, rooted for Argentina every time in the World Cup. Every time he fried and then when I abandoned him, he won. Me and Maradona were dicks again, I guess. Yeah, that's why you ride or die. Shake my head. It's okay, though. Mbappe becoming the goat soon. I hope so. He definitely next up. I'm ready on the bandwagon. Ronaldo is and always will be the goat. Nah. No, he's not. Um, Lashu. Making a face. Ronaldo got Kobe. This shit is extremely sad. I kind of hear that. What song is that? The song is um. Is this song? Is this song just called Tokyo? It's from Toronto Frost. I'll post it in the chat if you're still there. At me. At me one more time if you're still there. Um, I'll post it in the chat. I gotta get it. I think it's from Toronto. I think his name is Three Moon now. It's my friend's cousin. That face. He's in pain. Pain is not even the word, bro. My life is ruined. No, this was my first World Cup, and it was a blast. I'm glad that you yeah, you had fun, man. It, it it did give me a smile on my face seeing some people who don't really like watching like that, like, get into it. So, that was super cool. Best World Cup I've ever seen, 2022, 2010, 2014, 2018. I still have 2010 kind of, like, neck and neck with this one. I really like the South Africa one. I kind of I kind of have a neck and neck, but this one was special because I think it was special from the group matches with, like, how some of those Asian teams came back, like, from France. I said France. That's crazy. Japan, um, South Korea, and whatnot. It was really this was special, but this was actually the least amount of matches I've gotten to see to see because usually the World Cups on in the summertime, not not during um the winter when I'm working a lot more, you know. So what's up, Sydney? Hello, it me. Oh man, it was it was one hell of a game though. It ended dramatically, but it is what it is. Yeah, he got. He has to take the walk of shame now. I hate to see it. I woke my sister up. Apparently, I screamed so loud I woke her out of her sleep when I when Mbappe scored his um <laughs> when, when he scored the second goal to equalize. So I woke Bro, her up. within a minute of each other. Oh my god, that shit yeah. was so gas. Yeah, when all the world is messy, it's now like Chloe versus LeBron. We know the answer. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Your boy is finished. Nah, nah. The World Cup was rigged. They clearly want to have Messi win. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even gonna go there. I love Messi, but FIFA getting him this undeserved World Cup is just sad. The Drake curse is real, but Archie is greater. My coworker is gonna be defeated tomorrow. They ain't got shit. I only got into football back in 2018 World Cup, but man, this board is special. It is. It is. Ah, I still. 
You know what? 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 Kind of made me laugh is like, I fucking hate. I hate football commentators because the whole for seventy minutes, they had nothing nice to say about France until they woke up, and all of a sudden, they acted like the whole the whole game. They were speaking like it was a like it was a like they were um impartial. Like bro, cut it out, man. The only thing the only thing I will agree with you about in the chat is. One thing, one thing, one thing I see is anytime Messi, any, anytime Messi touches the ball, every commentator gets extra excited. They don't do that for most for most players. Yo, let's say, they will say, you know, Griezmann. Messi. Like I'm like, bro, like you just gotta, you just gotta pass. Like relax, you don't gotta do all that. Anyways, how did you enjoy your World Cup, though, Simi? How was it? You, hey, you watching the next one in 2026? You watching maybe, maybe the Euros? Nigga, <laughs> first of all. I'm going to be there. They said, hold on. They said freaking New York? Shit. I, nigga, when the take is... Hold on. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to be there. They said, hold on. They said New York? Gonna be one of the hosting cities. I said, "Bitch, what you talking about? I'm buying tickets. What does you talk about?" <laughs> but hey, when they just let me know, dog, I might be a permanent fan. This shit get first of all. This shit is so good to watch because ain't no fucking commercials. Mm. Son, I'm watching fucking American football the other day, and I'm like, Jesus Christ Almighty! There's literally a commercial once every other play. I said, I can't do this. I like this sport, but every other, it's like, and then and when you're watching a bad game too, I'm watching the Giants get eaten alive by the freaking uh, Eagles. Giants doing some bitch ass plays, move up like two yards. Then commercial. I, I can't do this. I'm wasting my Sunday. But with, with, with foosball, with old foot clan, no commercial till halftime. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's gas. Very easy to digest, but hey, whenever freaking whatever the hell next, whatever the fuck, whatever y'all call that shit, just let me know. I'll be there. I'm gonna be there. Gift subs, my boy Abdel. He said he said he said he needs some some gift subs. <laughs> he have paid. Um, thank you. I I appreciate it. Yeah. Um. Now I'll, I'll let you know when I think. I think I think you might be like me though. You probably I I I could be wrong. Like like I think Vince is gonna try. You give a shot if you want. I I don't dislike club football. I just completely. I just I just prefer international matches just way more. I just prefer international matches so, just way more. I, just, I like the Euros, Copa America, and the World Cup specifically more than I like cup matches. Like like I don't they don't move me the same. So, but yeah, the next one's supposed to be. I, th- I think Mexico, yeah, um, Canada to, and peace, U.S. Peace. supposed to be. Yeah, mm-hmm. play Honkai. Anyways, what's good? Thank you for the subscription and. It's not good, bro. It's a bad day. France lost. <laughs> oh man, let me see this. Hold on. What, what, what did I miss? Yay! Scaloni Wait, didn't learn after the peace, Netherlands peace. game. Nah, this is Loki scripted. New gen goes crazy, but the older players reach back to his prime again. A fraudulent W without outplaying the new gen is basically an older script. Almost cost him the World Cup. We're going to America next World Cup. Cola Milani will be crying. Come back stronger, King. He is. He's actually like. I can't call him the, the the MVP because Mbappe got three goals, but he was the only person that I saw that wanted to win from the get go. As soon as he stepped on the pitch, and I'm not saying everything he did was great, but he was playing hard. There was one challenge I saw him win when like a Argentina player was kind of waiting, and he just jumped and headed it forward. I'm like, that's somebody who's playing with a sense of fucking urgency, and that last minute save that they got against him. That was that was unreal. That was an unreal save. But I'm I'm very proud of Colo, bro. I'm proud of him because everyone's like, "Oh, he's on, y'all desperate." And I'm like, "Bro, he came to play though." And then after, oh, bro, that that second goal when they woke up. Huh. But the thing that shocked me is like, I like people are like, "What's what? What's wrong with France?" Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Have you guys not been watching since England? This is this Actually, is not I new. Have. This is not new." They have not. I don't know what happened since the moment they started playing England. They forgot how to play disciplined defense. Or I mean, I would defense. say I would even say they played even worse. Well, at least that that first like sixty minutes. 
they played even worse this I finals agree. because they because um they seem really um passive. Not yeah, even like just lethargic. defensive, just off- yeah, yeah, offensively too. They seem really passive. I'm like, what y'all waiting for? I don't know. Pessy's Mickey Mouse run to a World Cup. Easiest group in the pool system. Lost to Saudi Arabia first game. Played the team who calls it soccer first round. Have to face Netherlands and almost lost in PKs. Girls show the semifinals. Six starters off for France. American football is rough to watch for the commercials. I even think NBA too. NBA is mad annoying because they have schedule commercials. Like the game could be going. No one calls a timeout. I don't know football. Maybe, maybe football has that too. But that's, that shit's mad annoying. But um, what I really hate about having to watch the NBA, if it's a closed game, Two minutes or like a, there could be, there could be 46 seconds left and that's 25 minutes of my life gone. That shit's so fucking annoying. So I'm with you, Simi. I hate these commercials. That's one thing I love about yeah. football. You get 45 minutes plus stoppage time. Then you get your intermission. You come back. There's no, you know, whatever. The only thing that we kind of used to have, we have with some matches is that if it's really, really hot, they get something called a cooling break. So like during the forty five, they might they get like a minute to like drink water, cool themselves off because they don't want to fucking pass out of the of, of the of the hydration. So that's the only thing I'll say. But does it cut the commercial though? They just they just go on for a second and they keep going. So, yeah, yeah, cause them commercial dog like again, yeah. I like freaking American football a lot, but I'm watching that shit. I'm like, bro, every other play come and then the commercial break is on. One minute and like thirty seconds, one minute twenty seconds. I'm like, oh my god! Mm-hmm. Just a comeback, see my state play. Sorry, then commercial. I'm like, you know what? I'm going back tomorrow. Yeah, that sure. shit there, just straight grass, straight ball flying up and down the field, no breaks. That shit gas. So yeah. what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to watch the game, not watch commercials. I get ads all over the place. I wanted to see ads. Right. I just go scroll and, my timeline. And also. <laughs> Y'all never selling anything I want. So it's not even like I ever see anything cool. They'd be like, the fucking commercial would be like, yes, I'm strong. Yeah, I'm brave. I go through the wilds. I climb the <laughs> mountains. I reach the peak. Do you? Duracell. What? The Duracell commercial is so fucking unserious. So I, I can't, I can't. There's a, why is this person climbing a mountain talking about Duracell? Suck my dick. <laughs> so annoying. International football is different because the level of investment for the players and fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did in Argentina, so I am thinking of W for the Arab people. <laughs> England is so aft. It affected France. Shake my head. I mean, England outplayed us. I'll give I'll give them that. I don't care. No. They outplayed us. So did Morocco, honestly. Um, That was the first one game I watched all the way through, and that shit was insane. I might have to get into the sport. I feel it. Yeah, France and I was shot on target for an hour. I don't know. This is not even... Like, Simi, even what you were saying, the thing about me is if... Anytime I, I like a team that has a defensive, like, gap like that, I'm like, at the very least, you got to be scoring, like, four, three goals a game. I don't even think our offense wasn't good enough for us to have that kind of defensive um, lapse. So, it's mad annoying. Pat's here. Yeah, you can hop in, bro, if you're not doing anything. Be my, I don't know if you probably have. I know it's Sunday, so I know you watch football on Sunday. Um, so happy for Messi winning the, the, the World Cup. Well deserved for an amazing career. Americans finally discovered football is the greatest is this greatest sport ever. I guess their 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 comments are their some of their ignorant comments are mad annoying. So it is what it is. I waited almost twenty years for Messi to be a World Cup champion. One of the happiest days of my life. I mean, congratulations to you, bro. I don't know, man. I got like four more years for this shit. But I'll say that I'll say this. I'm a I'm an Mbappe believer now. I believe. I believe. I was. I. I think people think that I hated them. I didn't hate him. I just. Don't, I. I don't actually watch, like Ligon. He's, he's, he's in PSG, right? So he would be a what? Ligon, Ligon. I don't watch it like that. I don't watch PSG like that. So, plus, plus Messi's on that team. I don't watch Messi. <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Is it me, Carrie, for a sec. Yeah. Me, Carrie. You know, Carrie. Just. just oh, 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 Pat's here. Say, say something. Give me one sec. Uh, man, after almost 20 years of me watching oh. this beautiful sport yeah. with actual knowledge of the game, I've been watching football since oh. before I could talk, but like when I actually started paying attention to tactics and stuff like that, man, I've never been this happy over sports before yeah. in my oh. whole life. Damn. Okay, sorry. Back. Lemis. 
Nothing. Just telling them how happy I am. Mm-hmm. I you was still watch um, Holland play a bit more because I heard he's like another up and comer, but I haven't seen him on a world stage like this though. Like I've been Holland, at least seen twice. Yeah, early. Yeah, Holland is very very technical. It's more with him. It's like. He's the type of striker with outwasted movement, so he doesn't need to touch the ball a whole lot. But he has mm. excellent control of where he puts the ball when he shoots it. Yeah. This is and your, this Mbappe is, is scoring more thirty six uh, against the Celtics. Uh, was that game competitive? I don't even know that game was. I guess. I guess I had to be went to overtime. Never mind. I guess so. I like Holland. I and, like what I've seen. I just haven't seen much, so I don't want to like overdo it. I've seen Mbappe play a lot more than I've seen him play. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah Mbappe is uh, what you see from France is the same shit you see from PSG. He uses his pace to turn the corner, put pressure on defenders, make shifty moves inside the box, yeah. and Give and go. unleashes a wicked strike. Yeah. Messi doesn't even put the nail in the coffin. This is like putting the continent size gap in a country mile, mile in this case. There you go. I can't even watch football right now, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. NFL yeah, I mean, looks very. I mean, they dropped the Cabrera right chapter. Like, you're gonna read this? Like, no, I don't have the energy to read this right now. My heart's broken. <laughs> His heart's broken. <laughs> fucking Cabrera right now. Ain't nobody trying to see right the now. fucking Cowboys play, anyways. Yeah, fuck them niggas. They still, they still around. They're not dead yet. Huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah. No. Tell, tell, tell the people, Nia. Tell them why you're not a Messi fan. If they're already confused. Unless you diss already. I I kind of said it last time, but I just because I'm a Ronaldo fan. It's literally that simple. It's really not. It's really, it's really it. <laughs> I don't believe in um, being a Boston fan and a Laker fan. I think you're a frog. You pick a side. And you stop being a coward. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 how I move. So that's all I ever really was. Because it's not like like someone like Steve Nash, I disrespect. That's a different. I'm being disrespectful to him. I know I am though. So you, you can't say like I, I I know he's great. Like I'm being disrespectful. I'm never disrespectful to Messi. I just I I don't root for him. Mm. It's literally that simple. Plus I don't. Plus I don't really like Barca. My favorite Argentinian is Di Maria. And you know why he played on my, he played on Madrid, so so I have to watch Lakers versus Wizards. AD's out for the entire month. Ronaldo raw plus Messi has no personality. So I mean, I like Ronaldo more still. It's just the, it's over. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, the, the debate's done. I don't want to hear it. It's it's people on the TL right now. Bless them. They just don't understand the sport. But they're like, what does Mbappe have to do to pass Messi as the goat? I'm just like. He had his chance. It's over now. Like, because people don't understand. Wait, Ronaldo, by the you time mean? Messi was... he's, he's, he's Mbappe. No, they're asking. They're asking why what Messi, Mbappe has to do to pass Messi, and I'm trying to tell them like by the time Messi was Mbappe's age, he had four Ballon doors already. Mbappe doesn't have one yet. Oh, okay. I got you. I got, you, I got you saying, but you mean you never know if he, if he goes on a, a crazy run. But also they're on the same team, so. Look at him. What me? What did I do? He's not. He's not. Yeah, you're not conceding it. I'm not conceded. Conceding it. That he can't pass him. I don't think he's going to, but he's still young. Like I don't know. Like, I don't know what could happen in in a couple of years. I'm not. I'm listen. What Ronaldo and Messi have done are is absolutely not really repli- replicable. I'm not say I'm. I don't have anybody really doing what they're gonna do. But everyone always says you know records are meant to be broken. You never know. I don't think he's. I don't think anyone's passing him in Ballon d'Or for in my lifetime. That much I'll tell. You, that much I'll give you. He he might, he might get another one this year. He honestly, he should get his eighth. Wait, wait, eighth one. He should get it this year. Yeah, eighth. Also, I mean, he's made him yeah. salty. Di Maria definitely one of the best of all time. Yeah, I like Di. I was he played he off. the best game of his career today. Yeah. He's twenty three. He's turned twenty five. So I think no, I think he turned twenty four. I think he's twenty three right now. That's he probably was it for twenty three now. Yeah, yeah. He was um he was yeah like like eighteen nineteen ish I think in the first one two thousand in Russia so. Oh, yeah, people, I mean, I don't know, man, because 
I don't know if he's gonna have a breakout season. But again, I haven't. I, I don't watch him as much as I watch. I, I don't watch club club football as much as I used to. So I'll I'll hop back in and I'll hop back in. I've been inspired to come back. So. Oh, oh wow. look, look at him. Please, you change it to he said. He said, "Yeah, if Rams lose, what are you gonna do?" He said, "He gonna retire from all sports." And now look at him. <laughs> he inspired. That's crazy. Because the game was just too good, man. I understand. Yeah, it was. It, it, I. I as, as much as we lost, it's, it's the I'm happy with the I, I can't say I'm happy, but like we didn't go out without a fight. They they so, went out with pride. Yeah. Because if we went out the way that we were, we were it was looking, you would have you wouldn't have feared none of this. None of this would have happened. I would have came here, I would have blasted them, I would have I would have, I would have called Deshaun for fraud, everything, and I would have left. <laughs> That's what I would have done. But I'm like, okay, well, honestly, Colo Colo if, was the driving engine for this. By the way, I don't care what I don't care how you feel about him. Give him his respect for this game because he's the only person I saw there playing with some desperation and urgency and not lethargic from the moment he stepped on the fucking field. The turning point was when Kamavinga came on. Once that happened, they had solid control of the ball in the midfield. No, that's a, that's a good then, point. My point is that my point is Colo was like he was trying to win. He was the yeah, person he was I'm making seeing. Runs. He was. He, that's, that's, I'm not, not, not everything he was perfect because he did something to piss me off. But I'm like, at the you see what you guys are doing, standing there looking lethargic, not moving me. At least him looks to, looks like to me like he wants to win. So I'm give, I'm gonna give him that. I'm gonna give him that. Look at me fumbling my words. Where? Where did I, where did I do that? European sport do have ghosts at their peak competing, whether it be tennis with Federer and Nadal, soccer with Messi and Ronaldo. He was playing hide and seek for, for 70 minutes. Mbappe is only at the top so he can get some golden balls and catch up. Ronaldo said things come too easy to kids these, kids this age to be as good as him. They're too complacent. Mbappe against Argentina in 2018 was his best game, in my opinion. Not like he has a Ronaldo that could take half of the accolades. Well, it looks to me like they're trying to build up this Holland and, and, and Mbappe thing because they're both very prolific scorers, but I don't I don't see it yet. It's not it's not yeah, it's yet. it's two different types of play styles, really. It's all what you prefer. Do you prefer someone that can take the ball in the middle of the field, bring it all the way into the attacking third and make some moves, or do you prefer somebody that's gonna Poach around at the top, but the moment you give him the ball, he's finishing that shit. Mm-hmm. That's all it really is. I still think- I'm not lying to you when I say Holland will probably touch the ball like maybe eight times a game and finish with two goals. Yeah, only thing I'll say sometimes it looks ugly, but it's it's shit. It works. <laughs> sometimes to me it looks ugly. He's kind of he's cut because he's like he's like what six four he's big looks like he made in a lap he's big so for some reason to me sometimes sometimes taller football players look a little <laughs> awkward to me I can't really yeah because everybody else is short so <laughs> it's yeah, like it's really like that. down Slatan might be one of the few that don't look that weird to me but even sometimes I think he looks kind of like it's not enough like because like he's like what six five Slatan yeah how tall is he yeah he's he's six five. It's it's funny you bring up height because, in my opinion, the team that I felt was going to give Argentina the most trouble in this tournament was the Dutch because their whole lineup is like six and up. Yeah, fuck the Dutch, by the way. But their whole lineup is like six and up. That's the greatest nation to never win a World Cup. And and Messi and all them boys at Argentina, I don't think they have a single player over six feet. So I was like, damn, them set pieces are really going to fuck them. And that's what happened at the end of the game when they thought that it was going to be another header over the top. So they jumped and the ball went under. I was like, oh my fucking God, I cannot believe this shit. That was fucking brilliant, though. That was amazing. It was. It it was a great, great tactic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They said uh, Peter Crouch is funny to watch. He is. (laughs) He is. I even think, um, what's the, what's my boy from um, England? Um, I think his name's not gonna be me, but he looks funny to me too. He's big, but he's but he's nothing to your six to ten six Naya, bro. I look normal on the pitch. <laughs> he's saying you ten six. Yeah. Why do I keep saying Naya built like a One Piece character, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Man is six exactly. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just they're just they're just building themselves up for disappointment when they see me. Like I'm not LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> I blend in. I don't stand out. <laughs> like my head's not above the crowd. 
I'm just in the I'm in the mix. I'm in the mix, but man. Hold on. Hi. Said the goalkeeper is six feet. Well, yeah, the goalkeeper should always be tall. Yeah. Uh, that's I'm I'm not talking about the keeper. I'm talking about all them boys in the midfield and even even for like the women's game, the the the, the keepers should probably be tall. Like Hope Solo's like what, five eleven? Five Yeah, she's pretty tall for a woman. Yeah, so like you got you want them big. Hi, I want to offer your channel view. Oh, this is for fake. Where the swords at? Lost, you're in the chat with a sword. You don't see that bot? I'm gonna take the blade from you. Do some work. Mm. Yeah, like what's up with him? Said when I'm not Isn't she in jail? I don't actually actually don't know. See, I, I have no it. idea. I'm taking I lost. Wait, I'm taking I'm 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 gonna take I'm gonna take Lost's blade for that. <laughs> it's getting revoked. Naya and Giannis are definitely made in the same lab, but that is crazy. I don't think Hope Soul is in jail. I know she had a domestic di dispute, something, something at some point, but. That's a very nasty woman. Yeah, but th that team wins. Like like, like you said, Pat, <laughs> with Marta, they was giving them fits for years, but Brazil was disrespectful to um, their women's team, though. They did not give them any, any real support. So, I mean, it's hard. Because, you know, the history that the men's team has and the women's team just has not been as successful. So they had a, I they guess had that's a, probably they, why. They had a winning squad with, with Marta on the come up, though. They, they did, did, but they, they didn't They didn't they, really and build they didn't, enough they, they, they didn't believe or, or I don't know if they didn't believe or what it was, but because Marta was special, bro. I feel, I feel bad for her. She beat the shit out of her girlfriend. Wasn't that like her nephew or something? Wasn't that what it was? I don't know idea was a lot of football the women's game, women's football is a joke I yikes i don't mind it i like watching i um i could watch i could watch women's football and i could watch on women's volleyball especially those are two sports or tennis those are three i'll watch no problem anything else wnba even is hard for me to watch i won't lie to you <laughs> can't watch wnba it yeah it's hard sometimes there's games i can watch it's, if you're if you're um aspiring to be a professional you should watch the WNBA because that will show you the fundamentals and like passing and stuff like that. yeah because it's not uh highlight plays or people doing shit that nobody else can do it's like regular mm -hmm. stuff well I mean I don't want to say the regular stuff that sounds disrespectful but it's more grounded it's a more grounded approach of basketball that mm -hmm. you can take and learn from nature boy I don't know if I don't know if you're if you're kidding or you're not kidding, but the debate is over, bro. He's not the goal. I'll say this: I'll ne I've never seen a player like Ronaldo that improved the way that he did in such a quick amount of time after he was already very good. Because Ronaldo at Manchester United was already like top ten, fifteen ish ever player. And then when he went to Real Madrid and he started playing them classicals with Messi, dog. <laughs> like, it was like he was scoring two goals every single game. I'm like, what's going on? Like, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't I don't I don't I don't think either of them would have been as good as they were without either of them existing because they pushed each other, I think. I don't know if he would have I don't, like it's like it's hard for me to say because obviously I don't I don't I'm not with them every day or anything of the sort, but it was really like Cause like I always talk about how much better he got even in Manchester United, because he when he came from Sporting he was a he was a he was a highlight merchant. I remember I used to remember him doing keep ups mid game while he's running. I'm like, what's wrong with this guy? Just play the game. You don't, you don't gotta be doing all of this. He gets touched. He want to fly through five fucking mountains like he got hit with a Dragon Ball Z punch. I'm like, this guy's flopping. Can't take him serious. People don't know why I didn't like Ronaldo immediately. It took like five years. Then I'm like, all right, he's my guy now. Especially when I saw the interview, I saw how hard he worked. Then, like you said, it was kind of like he was already doing really good, even as ex exit the way that he exited Madrid, um, not Madrid, um, United, and then went to Madrid and he took it to a new level. Even in Madrid, there was I can't remember when I can't remember I can't remember the year exactly myself, but there was a year where um one of the one of the one of the coaches made him a a much more clinical striker, where he's like, you need to start scoring with headers and getting the ball 
around the <clears throat> box and just putting it in. You don't have you, you can't you can't always fucking dribble, beat eight people and come and do this stuff. And then and then from there, I think he just started to like get get better and better. And you saw him. He's still a flashy guy, but you saw less and less flash and more and more just yo technical. Put it yeah. in, put it in the net, pass it. Also, he wasn't a willing passer for a while. I would argue. Yeah, when he got to Madrid after. I want to say his third year there, mm-hmm. he changed positions because he used to be a forward. Yeah. But then after that, they started putting him as a striker up top. And nigga, Ronaldo in a box with a set piece and a ball coming up, it's one of the most dangerous athletes I've ever seen. He has something like – his header record is something crazy where, like, he has, like, more header goals and some people just have goals in a season or something like that. Like, he's – Bro, he he was like an Olympic high jumper. He was getting up over everybody. I was like, nigga, what? I was just watching. Yeah. I was like, is this the same guy? Yeah. And I remember when I remember one I remember one year when I saw his body like transfer. I'm like, oh, look at him now. He's absorbing some contact. I'm not gonna act like he doesn't still flop, but like I'm like now he'll actually body man's and shield the ball, get it, turn around. I'm like, okay, I like this. But yeah. Um. Hold on, he's been improving. It's like an anime arc. Messi officially the greatest to touch the field. The conversation and debates are over. I agree. Low key, I think Messi would stay the same, but I feel like Ronaldo, he hates the idea of someone around his age just as good, uh, if not better than him. Maybe. So I'll push him more. Ronaldo's ego definitely pushed him. Yep. No, nah, uh, well, he's Messi, a buggy. <laughs> Messi, Messi is way more well Me- Messi did get better, though. He did, though. He, oh, he, yeah, he himself he, got better from the 19 he, to the 10. Go ahead. He, he 30, admitted that 30, Ronaldo 19. pushed him. Was he to 30, get 19? Better. Sorry, was he 30, 19, and 10? What was, is that, was it order for him? What? For Messi. What, what, was he 30, 19, and 10 for his number? 30, 19. No, like 30, like 30, 30 was his first number ever, right? When he played professional? Or was oh, it, was that... yeah, yes, yes, yes. It was 30 first. Then it was 19, I think. I don't know if I, I don't know if I remember that correctly. Yes, it was. It was. Okay, it was. that's all. That's all. Okay, go ahead. My bad. Let me cut you off. I, I'm, I'm gonna be like, what? 30, 19? What? You sound like basketball numbers. What's he asking me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought oh, there, there, there were scoring splits? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, not, not, like, not 13, huh? not 30 points, <laughs> <laughs> 19 rebounds, like 10. No, 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 no. My bad. My bad. Go ahead. No. <laughs> but yeah, what well, what Messi um. Messi admitted that when Ronaldo came to Real Madrid, he pushed him to get better as well. Because the first Clásico that we played against Madrid when Ronaldo came, we had, uh, I say we because I'm a Barcelona fan, if the people in the chat don't know. But we had just beaten, I can't remember what team it was, but it was like a lower end team on the La Liga table by like four goals. And in a press conference before the Classico, Ronaldo was like, well, I'm not impressed by Barcelona being a bottom feeder team by four goals. Let's see if they do that against us. And then when we played them in their house, by the way, we beat them five to two. And I remember because Ronaldo was looking at Messi after the game, like rubbing his chin, looking at me. He's like, this nigga kind of different. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to get better. And then the next time we played them, it was a draw. So it was like baby steps. And then over the years, we kept going back and forth. Like, I remember one game we played, the final score was 2-2, and both Messi and Ronaldo had a brace. Like, it was insane. It just kept going back and forth. Like, I, I do not foresee another generation in my lifetime, maybe I'm wrong, where literally the Ballon d'Or goes between two people for a fucking decade. And I, and I don't care what anyone tells me. I like Luka Modric. I think he's amazing. I do not think he deserved it in 2018. I'm sorry. I don't. But that all being said, uh, I don't know if that's happening this. again. <laughs> I don't know what's happening again. We'll see, though. I could be I'll wrong. say this. Go ahead. I feel like Ronaldo did steal a Ballon d'Or from Suarez in 2016 because Suarez had just been the top scorer on the Barcelona squad that won the Champions League. And then in that year, he was the top scorer across all competitions. Mm-hmm. And then they gave it to Ronaldo, even though Madrid didn't win shit. So I was like, what? Exactly. I was I was very confused about that one. The thing about the Ballon d'Or, honestly, as much as I res- like, I want to respect it as much as I can, I do. And I don't, like, you know me, you know how I am, but like, there's times where I look at these awards and I'm like, I just wish that you guys had internal consistency with how you reward, how you award it. I really do. 
mm-hmm. kind of like the MVP or Finals MVP. Like if you for for people in the chat who are like more NBA guys, you know that cr- the criteria for that shit changes b- year by year, and people and people get like voting fatigue. One thing I'll give them, it seems like they didn't get they didn't get voting fatigue, but also they can market the Messi Ronaldo rivalry though. So there's probably that was probably an aspect to it. So maybe that was what it mm-hmm. was, but. But it's one of those. It's one of those ones. Cause like, cause, cause to me, even in two thousand and three, I think Terry Henry got fucking robbed. I'll never, I've never let that go. <laughs> That's so funny. It's been, how many years has it been? I've never, I never let that go. But yeah. But I hear you though. Is that was remind remind me if I'm right if I'm right if I have the year right? Isn't that the year Messi was like was like fifth on that list? In twenty eighteen. Which year? Twenty eighteen. Sorry, I know, I, I know, I, I know, I went back and forth, but 2018. Check what, 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 what was he in 2018? Let, let me make sure, make sure I'm correct. Let me, let me check. Right. I don't know if I'm right on that because even him being that low, I'm like, yeah, I, we're just not being serious this year, I guess. And I just, I literally, <laughs> didn't, I, and I literally just didn't watch the award ceremony. I didn't even watch it. But I'm not trying to be disrespectful because I think, I think I like Luca. I actually like him. Like he's a great, he's a phenomenal player. Yes, he was fifth. Yeah, you see, that's unserious. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, I'm they, sorry. They I'm throwing that year out. And Mbappe. Throwing that year out. You said what? They had him below Griezmann and Mbappe. And and I like Griezmann. Griezmann is my favorite. Is my favorite player on the front on the on the, on the team. So he's thirty in PSG. He was ten, really young though. Wait, sorry, what did I miss? All the team should retire. Ten jersey at this point. <laughs> he was. I mean, I would always wear thirteen. So what does it matter? I'm wearing my, what number I want to wear. Facts. This is a this is the golden age of soccer. Battle on dogs. There's politics. Just like the Oscars. Fair enough. Although Messi des- deserved each one. Yeah. I, Ronaldo won the Euros in 20, 2016. I mean, I know that. Henri did get robbed. Thierry Henry should have won in two thousand four too. To be honest, let me check that year again. Um, MVP changes every year based on the vibes. Facts. Messi fifth. Messi's quality of not showing emotion of defeat when the pendulum goes the other way is impeccable. Nah, that's something that you guys might value. I, 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 I could, I could understand why somebody would value that. I don't. That, that's one of. The, there's a lot of things that happen in sports, and I think that if you value it, it's fair. But there's pros and cons to it. For example, I've always people have always not, not like Ronaldo for his ego, and I'm like, I get it. Yeah, I understand. I have no problem with you not liking because you think he's a fucking egotistical maniac and baby. If you're that good, I don't give a fuck. You're allowed to be as arrogant as you want. <laughs> it does not bother me, yeah. personally speaking. You, you know. You know my policy. If you're gonna talk, you better back be that, that nigga. And he does, so I don't. I, I let him rock. I you see how Kobe will talk. He could talk. He got five rings. Talk that shit. Not, they don't bother me. <laughs> you gotta be a certain caliber of player to talk like that. And if you're not, I don't respect you. So that's all. That's all, that's all it really is with me. Like um, cause like cause, cause, cause like even again another again just just cause I know some people some of you guys here don't really watch football like that. Like you know how like um. Kawhi is very even keeled. He doesn't really show emotion like that. I respect yeah. that too. I get it. Whether you're winning or losing, whatever, you just you do the work, you go and you you move. Like, you, like it's, like, it's like business as usual. I respect that too. There's nothing wrong with that. It just I think that's just a thing that depending on your personality, you gravitate to one more than the other. Because one thing that I the reason why like I might not Kaká is my favorite Brazilian player, but the reason why like I never I, I don't I don't love all these Brazilians because they don't fucking work hard. They they're talented as shit. Don't get it twisted. They come, they win, they dazzle, razzle, dazzle, and they go party. I don't fucking rate that. Go in the gym. <laughs> get get in the fucking pitch. Get some shots up. Niggas are out of shape, coming back. Like I'm like, I don't rate this. I hate it. I never liked Ronaldinho like that for that reason. I don't give a fuck. You see how Ronaldo's like, yo, I'm traveling with my chef. I'm traveling. This that. I I like that shit. Sacrifice. Sacrifice for your craft. Try to be the best you possibly can be. Cause I don't, e- I don't believe that this debate is even like within arm's reach for Ronaldo if he doesn't, re- if he doesn't work as hard as he works. It wouldn't, he would, it wouldn't even been a competition. He'd have been so far behind Messi from time. But he works, he works hard for it though. And I Got respect it. that. Um. Messi, uh, Messi, Messi. Yeah, the finals. Yes, the finals was over. His ability to keep a cool head after Mbappe's two goals was amazing. Being cool head at the biggest stage takes takes mental. I agree, but it. Like, it I mean, I, sorry, I've definitely I'll, I'll seen see Messi what, break. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, I'm just. I, I've definitely seen Messi break. So it's not all the time. Like, um, 
when they lost the Copa America final, I think in 2016, that was bad. That Andy was really bad. Oh too? my god! Yeah, he did. Cause the the manner in which they lost, it pissed me off. Oh my god! They had the game won. Chile had just picked up a red card. They were playing with ten men, and then this dickhead Marcos Rojo went and picked up a red card too. And then they went up going to the penalties, and then they lost off of that. I was like, nigga, you. Oof. So I understand why he broke that day, cause man, uh, I'm down. I remember that game. I was watching because because <laughs> 26 years off of the world because 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 Portugal won the Euros. I was like, I'm winning. <laughs> I'm winning. So that's what I feel. He said, "Sorry for any of those in the chat." Brazil, Loki, the Cowboys, some football. That's crazy. All right, yeah, Ronaldo did phenomenal. Was great. I'm not saying they weren't good players. What I'm saying is, I don't like. Um, what's was it? Bohan? What's what was Messi's cousin? Bohan. Or whatever, there are certain players that come out and they're like, oh, they're better than Messi, oh, they're better than Ronaldo, they're da, this, they're this, they're that, they're that, they're that. And I'm like, bro, unless you have sustained greatness for as long as these guys have, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to talk about it. Stop. Calm mm-hmm. down. It's cool. Oh, at this young age, they're doing things comparable or even better. But do they have the mentality to maintain that? Mental fortitude is the most important thing for being a world cast athlete like that. You can have all the latent potential in the world. And you can't, Bro. and you won't be able to display it without being like um, mentally resilient. Sorry, let me let me cut you off. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna hold y'all, but freaking goat conversations don't mean not a goddamn thing to me. Mm-hmm. Are the games fun to watch? <laughs> that that's like, also a valid point. Like, I bro, that. I don't, I I honestly don't give a fuck who the greatest of all time is. Who did this at when? Who did this where? Nigga, is the games fun to watch? I'm not trying to watch blowouts. I'm not trying to watch no fucking 4 0 on the other team just there killing time because they got to be there just on the clock. I'm not trying to see that. If I, if, if game's going to be like that, then I'm not watching a fucking sport. So all them freaking goal mm. talks don't mean not a goddamn thing. And that's why this fucking, that's why this World Cup is so gas. I mean, it's my first one, my first and only one, so I don't got nothing to compare it to. But to see fucking crazy ass shit. Man, that journey that Japan took in the group uh, stage, that shit, that's what I'm, this is what I'm watching freaking uh, team sports for. Mm-hmm. Not just to see the greatest team of all time win it for the um team time. I don't care about that. Nigga, I want to see miracles. I want to see exciting shit. Bro, so actually, like, who, who I actually, go this, who I, go that? I actually respect that. Me. I think that's the right way to go about it. Um, Because I would argue the only sport that I think that's actually a lot easier to quantify is basketball. Truly. I don't really think like as much as I think LeBron's great, I think that um McDonald's like the greatest. I think basketball that's easier to easier to discern, even though I still think it's highly difficult for any sport. But um like just watch the game for the love of the game. You know what I'm saying? And like teams yeah. and, and, and follow every like I, I respect that. The only difference that I will say with me, the reason that I, I was so I'm so personally invested in the Ronaldo and Messi thing, because I've been here for for like a decade plus. Like I was like from like two thousand and what four. Maybe maybe not maybe not that early, but like having these arguments with my teammates, my coaches and all the people I played with, you know, so just like you kind of get emotionally drawn into the into the into the result. Oddly enough, as much as it hurts. It, I'm not as bothered as I thought I was going to be if Argentina won. I think I'm actually more upset that France lost. And that, that's, that's shocking me. I thought I'd be more upset that I had to admit that he's just, the debate's over. It's, it's messy over. Well, I mean, but, I think it's because it's the manner in which they won, where it's not like Messi did fuck all for 90 minutes and his teammates carried him over there. Like, no, nah, he was actively involved. He mm-hmm. scored what should have been the winning goal. So, you know, he did what someone that's hailed as the GOAT should do to win the game for his team. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it went to penalties and stuff. Yeah. I, 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 I probably would have taken off Di Maria that early, personally. Just because, that, but just because I personally, me and me and you personally know that in football, especially, I, maybe this is true of hockey and I don't know of lacrosse or other sports, but having a two nothing lead is statistically the worst lead to have. See me? Do I sound crazy? I rather my team being leading lead one nothing than two nothing. 
Yes. You know, absolutely. I've seen that conversation. One, one nothing or three nothing or nothing? <laughs> it's one, literally my one, preference. One nothing, one nothing is like a deadlock because yeah. teams are hyper-focused. They're like, all right, we're up by one. We absolutely, under no circumstances, can allow them to equalize. Yeah. And they're going to keep trying to get their chances. And the other team is trying to get one back to tie the game. But at the, at the same time, they're like, damn, we don't want to go down by another goal. So, you know, it's like, it's intense. But two nothing, as you've seen today. Yeah, yeah, we see, we seen it all this, we seen it all this month. Two yep. nothing because all they they get complacent. Yeah. Then for once, once the, either the the half is coming up or it's about to be the end of the game, or the teams are heating up. They see that they get a chance and there's all of them activate game breaker. Then they it get it becomes two. chaos. It becomes chaos. And then you see the chaos. craziest type of goals go roll off the back of your hamstring. The shit bounce left, then it bounce right. It's behind the line. There you go. They go one. That now, nigga I get the foul. Say, there you go. Set piece. <laughs> da, 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 bada boom. Bada bing. Two. Like it's yeah. So I I've seen it play out before my eyes. Yeah, I would I, say I, soccer I, is I say the this only somebody? sport. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Oh, we, uh, I was just saying, soccer is the only sport where you can actually see the adrenaline kick in on these players. Like mm-hmm. you'll you'll see with your own two eyes a second gear hitting everybody when they're trying to get that second goal back after they just peeled one, like the game just becomes so much faster. People start moving yeah. frantically. It, it's crazy. You don't see that in any other sport. Because, excuse me, I was going to tell you, I say that as somebody who's been under receiving end a plethora of times from the day I was four to 25, where I'm up 2-0, and I'm in fucking, I'm in fucking extra time when it, and it's 2-2. <laughs> they get one, and it is... <laughs> Oh, we're alive again, and then they fucking go crazy, and I'm like Jesus Christ, because because sometimes like I wake up every time, no matter what. Even even I can admit there's, I don't like to, I don't really get complacent, but there's times where I can be like I I can you have a two zero lead and you're kind of like I think they score one, we're still winning. There's that creeping thought in the back of your head, like Pat said, one nothing, you can't fuck up. It's too close. You're still playing mm-hmm. as if pretty much you're playing the game as as if it's still nil nil. You you don't mm-hmm. get you don't get that leeway. I admit sometimes three nothing. I'll and I'm not taking it seriously, but I relax. Like okay, tiki taka, pa- park the bus. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm not. I'm three not. Fix, I'm not fixating on attacking if I don't have to because I won't need to. So I'm keeping possession. But if it's one nothing, three nothing is not yeah, all the way yeah. safe. But yes. it's still like I, I I've never I've, I've never I've never lost being up three nothing before. But two nothing before I've lost many times and I've been down o two and won many times. Mm. So I understand that. So my bad though. Me sorry, chat. I'm a little behind Morocco. Yeah, Morocco. Morocco is highly impressive. I'm very. I'm very, very much. I very much like how they played. I just. I was the 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 African narrative wasn't moving me because France, Messi, Ronaldo were ah. really fun to watch. Oh, go ahead. Now, I was just gonna say I I normally would be on that wave, but the way the coach was handling himself and all the things that he was saying about Africa as a continent was really swaying me. Because every time they kept asking him like, "How's this a victory for the Arab world since we're in Qatar?" and he's just like, "No, no, no, we're an African country. That that, that first mm. we're representing for all of Africa." I was like, "Oh, well, would you look at that?" Me and my dad were unmoved. <laughs> <laughs> but I hear you. I hear you. Simi spinning. I've had friends quit watching basketball from watching Harden play. Oh my god, they believe in Harden. Yes. They deserve it. Um, Barca Madrid was part of your identity back then. People get it. I, I, yeah. I, I've always admitted though. For anyone who was here, you've even heard me say this before. When it comes to club football, I have no loyalty. I follow where my favorite players are. It's literally that simple. I do not. There's never been a club that I've loved through and through just because it's that club. Like when it was Terry Henry with the Gunners, Arsenal then moved on. You know, with Ronaldo, I just told you right now. People are like, what, what? What's your favorite club team? Where's Ronaldo at? Oh, he's a free agent. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> so I have. I've never. I've never not admitted that. Um, Neymar was so bad in this World Club. I. Oh, Neymar no, is Neymar. No. I thought was really played played well, but I. 
I was, I was gonna ask, I was gonna say, wasn't his ankle or hamstring kind of acting up? But I was gonna say this: I do think Neymar is one of those players that I, I think, I guess people ex- had more, higher expectations of him. I understand that. I still don't think Neymar is a bad player. Um, I think he's still one of the better Brazilians. I'll say this though: I, I, I said I'm saying this as an I'm not a Neymar fan. Like I don't like him, but I do think that he gets. I think he gets a little bit um. A bad rap. One oh, what's to watch though? I think for me, because I guess I've been on, because I've pl- I've played this at a high level a lot of times when I'm up one nothing and we win one nothing and it's fine. Two o just stresses me out. I don't know. I can't explain it. I just rather be up one nothing, or three nothing. Argentina was still pushing after two o. They wanted to dead it before. Yeah, I I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree. They did. They were they was playing. They was attacking really well. It was kind of funny seeing some of the people were like, "Who's this?" D- d- I saw someone put Die Maria. I said Die Maria. Who's, Who's that? that? But, <laughs> but like, they, I'm, like, I'm like, where did that E come from? But I'm like, nah, Di Maria's <laughs> my boy. I like him. Um, remember last year versus Man City, shit was so unserious. Actually, no, I know watch. Momentum swinging football is nuts. Sometimes is Mbappe ahead of Neymar overall? Um, it what depends. It, depends what on it, what you're asking. Yeah, like what are you talking about through through accolades or whatnot? But um, hold on. How old is Neymar? Thirty. Yes, he's thirty now. Hmm. I'll say this: you read my answer for you, Snorlax. He's on. I would argue he's on a better trajectory right now. Yeah, that's probably I the safest thing for me to say. <clears throat> I'm not comfortable saying he's better or better necessarily worse, but right now his war path seems to is greater. So if he keeps on, if he keeps up the momentum or improves, absolutely he will end as a much better all time great than him. Complacency be fucking people over so much, and suddenly you're on the backseat. I feel you. Yep, yeah, trust me. As a as a goalkeeper, too, always stressful to me because I can't fully focus, but I can't, re- but I, but I can't re- fully relax. I agree. Messi's a genius penalty shooter. He always goes, um, he's always waiting for the goalkeeper to put the weight on one side. Helps that he has a good foot too. He, he's, I still think he's got the, like the one. Of the, if not, I say, I say I want to say the greatest, but like there's some Spanish players I've seen where that ball just stays magnetized to their foot. But he's like top five easily. His dribbling is just insane to me. I don't I don't know how I tried to dribble like him before, but I don't know how he magnetizes this ball to his foot, bro. I don't have a touch like that. Bro, it Maybe. it doesn't make sense. He runs at full speed, and the ball doesn't travel more than a yard from his feet. I don't get it. <laughs> like, no, I, you can't do something like that, right? man. Listen. The ba- the most basic of passes be impressing me. I'm like, nigga, I can't even walk in a straight line without tripping. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I I I I developed a very good touch because my coaches forced me to. Cause I will lie to you, I would actually argue my touch wasn't good until I was about sixteen. I was just so athletic. It didn't matter. I had a monkey touch, bro. <laughs> but I'd get, but I'd get there before you do. You and you couldn't even body me. I was too strong. It didn't matter. <laughs> and one day my coach was like, "This is enough of this. <laughs> enough of this." And um, and I never tell you that. I think I told you this. You might have heard it, but like, with me too, I I gave my coach credit for this. He made my left foot so much better because he literally just, in practice, I was not allowed to use my right foot. And a lot of times when we when we when we're playing scrimmages or possession, whatever, we'd be, you'd be like, "All right, everybody, three touches, Naya, one touch, left foot only." And I'm like, "Shh, <laughs> <laughs> kiss my fucking teeth." So he actually, my my uh, shout shout out to you, Steve, bro. You made me such a a, a great player, man, with that because. When I could go down the left side of my left foot and feel completely comfortable, I won't lie to you. It's different. <laughs> it's different. The only thing I always admit is when it comes to shooting with my left foot, it's power or accuracy. You choose one. I can't give you both. <laughs> can't give you both. My left foot is not – like, if I have to shoot it hard to, like, the top right specifically, listen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Um, and everyone's overrated. It's a problem. People try to compare him to Pele. He's not that guy. But you guys understand that media machines just do this in general a lot of the time. Because Freddie Adu was the next Pele. Mind you, North America doesn't know what the fuck, the fuck they're doing. But you know what I'm saying? Like You got <laughs> to take that with a grain of salt sometimes. Like, do you remember 
when Jordan retired or was retiring or we thought we was going to, everybody was the next Jordan from Penny yeah. to fucking Vince Carter to Kobe to whoever. Like, they're, they're trying to replace that next great with, like, someone else to, like, keep the hype in the sport because I think ratings t- generally for few sports, like, that go down dramatically when like a great really retires because i know the ratings dropped for the nba when michael jordan retired you know so you gotta you gotta you gotta think about it like that part of that is just trying to keep their sport alive now you know how much yeah, money I this fucking sport I makes say that neymar is overrated because neymar is a big game player and if it wasn't for the fact that marquinhos and fucking who else was it no it was just marquinhos they they were defending like dickheads against Croatia after he had that brilliant run to score and put them up one in extra time. They probably mm-hmm. would have been playing Argentina in the semifinals, which people keep saying, oh, Brazil would have been a much better matchup. No, Argentina would have steamrolled Brazil because they beat them in the Copa America final the year prior. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but Neymar, from what I've seen in his career thus far, when they get to like, the big games. He always shows up all the time. I've never seen him go ghost in a big game. I I I feel that that matters to me. That's kind of how I feel about Drogba. Like he's a big game player, man. Yeah, big you big know? game player. Actually, I've seen him I, score for Chelsea so many times. I'm about to Ooh. say, I'm about to bring up 2012. <laughs> but um. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember some of the questions that Dave Dave kept. Bar- I had a, a little a little football stream um on Friday before the um before before the finals and the semifinals. Oh, that's what it matters. For third place match started, I want to ask you this question because I wasn't sure. Who would you argue is the greatest African player we've seen so far? Because, um, so, like they were asking me that they were asking me that right. I I told them my favorites. Yeah, yeah, tour it, right? Probably he's probably my favorite one, right? I'm by. But I w- I was mixed between JJ. I I I went Eto first immediately personally. I went Eto first, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, mm. and then I went Drogba, and then I went o- Ochoa. But I wasn't sure. What do you What do you think? It's, if you have to give one for Eto yourself, for Eto. Okay, Eto Eto yeah. was a name that popped into my head first, definitely. The reason I say Eto though, even though I'm I'm Cameroonian, so I'm biased, but he <laughs> was a part of that Barcelona team that won like every fucking trophy that you could possibly win in one year. And then the next year he went to Inter Milan and he was the decisive factor in beating the same Barcelona team that he just came from. And then they won the Champions League again. So he won Champions League back-to-back years and he was the top scorer on both teams. And this is when, I mean, obviously Messi wasn't the same Messi yet, but when he was playing alongside Messi, he was scoring more goals than him at the time. Keep in mind, Messi was still very young. He was like 19, 20, 21 years old. But still, it's still a feat. Mm, yep. Yeah, yeah, he, he was special, man. He was great. I was, I was thinking about it. I'm like, because like, they put me in the spot. I'm like, that's a good question. <laughs> that, one, that one moved me. Then then, uh, then they also asked you who was my second favorite Portuguese player because obviously Ronaldo's my favorite, and I was I was kind of in between Cardesma and um and um Pep and, and um and Pepe, but I went Cardesma. Even though even Fuck though he's Pepe. a fucking loose cannon, <laughs> I went Cardesma probably. I fucking hate Pepe. I think no, Pe- bitch. That, the problem with him is I'm like Pepe. I'll have I'll have these moments with him. Where I'm like, look at him playing defense, being a normal person. Then some games will be like, I'm going to cleat you in the eyeball. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you unhinged? I, I, why are you so unhinged? What the fuck is wrong with him? Like, like Timmy, I promise you, just you just fucking hit, hit you the wrestling move mid-match. 40, 70th minute because he's fucking frustrated. And I'm like, why? Why did you hit him with so the Kaniku Buster? I don't you. understand oh, why. Shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're so driving me crazy. So I couldn't give it to him. So I went Charisma. But Charisma also has like a, a bit of a... Um, he, 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 I I know it's because of his upbringing, but like his temperament is not as great. It's not as it's not as good as I needed to be. So, shit. If I had to pick my second favorite Portuguese player, I'd say Nani. Nani was in the was in the, was in the conversation too, but I had him. Na, I had Nani him, was had fun him. to watch. Yeah, I agree. George away is up there. I agree with that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, two way top one. What's up, Mikey? Mane, Hakimi, Kalabi, pop African players. Okay. 
Neymar's a big game. Yeah, yeah, last look at his first. performance in 2020s. Uh, Champions League final versus Bayern, 4.5. Sofa score rating, worst player on the pitch. Man, that sofa score don't mean shit to me. He was the best player on that pitch for PSG that day. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. He carried them to that final too, by the way. Mm-hmm. I kinda ask, I'm trying to remember what else they asked me. They asked me a bunch of questions. But... I will say this because because a lot of people always wonder why I have uh, Henri over Zizou, and I always say this, this, it's literally two thousand and six. Mm. I that headbutt, bro. Why did he do it? He pissed me off with that shit. <laughs> he pissed me the fuck off. I'm sorry. But if I remember correctly, Matarati said something about his mother. I know, and and what I'm saying is, fuck all that noise until the game's over. <laughs> I have had some foul ass shit said to me. All right, you gotta you. I need I need you to keep your composure until the end of it. And that's that's the reason he broke my heart. I couldn't believe that happened to me. I said, "There's no way he just fucking headbutted him." Nigga, nigga used headbutt like a Pokemon. Like he really did that. <laughs> but I couldn't believe. <laughs> Yo, if you just seen me, because like I'm I'm literally there, with my boy Apollo from. From Italy, and you just saw me get. You saw the deflation in my body, my mind, body, and spirit, bro. It was defeat. I said, "There's no way he just did that." Unhinged. Yeah, Can't I was it. very confused. I, I couldn't believe it. I hate that shit, bro. So favorite position was asked too. Oh, my, but my favorite position is defender to um probably defensive midfielder, but midfielder, midfielder, midfielder. But yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna ask, um say um what your favorite position is. If you have one, favorite okay, position? Have one. Oh, yeah, if you don't have it's one. uh, yeah, it's it's mid, definitely mid. Okay. That's what I played. Mid is so much fun because like you can see the whole field, and oh, you touch involved. the ball the most in the middle. Yeah, yeah. As somebody who started off forward, as a defender, yeah, I, I I always have respect for them, and then I evolved into a midfielder. I was never a striker though. I, I played. I played. I can field, score. So I was close to the sideline. Yeah. I can score. Like I could score well, but it's just not it's not natural to me. Like, you know how a lot of strikers have a great sense and they just happen to be in the right spot at the right time and with anticipation, mm-hmm. I don't have that. I'm always reactionary. Like, oh shit, it's it's going across the goal. <laughs> like I'm late. And I'm a reluctant header. I'm no, I've never admitted that. I'm a reluctant I don't I'm not gonna get brain damage, bro. Like that ball's high or coming hard. I'm not trying to control that with my head, bro. I'm not hitting I'm not header in that. I de- it's funny because to the point I developed a, like a long high jump, and I, I, my flexibility got better, so I could just control the ball with my leg midair. <laughs> it's funny because as a former midfielder, like when I be watching the games, you should see me like when I'm watching this shit, and I see teams like passing the ball to each other, and then I see like an opportunity for a give and go, and then one person might hit the ball too heavy or too light, and I just be sucking my teeth like, why? Why did you do that? <laughs> yep, I totally get you. Yeah, to read the most unique and complete midfielder profile I've ever I've seen. That's that's a, um, fair enough. I I like him a lot. Colt Divoire is my favorite. Um, my favorite African team probably. I got Zizou poster. Zizou poster in my room. I have his jersey somewhere here. It's funny because my because even my pops thought he was my favorite player. My favorite player is Henri. I'm aware of this though. Like I still like him. But Henri's my favorite player. He, you probably just assume because I like France. So, I, I like France from '98. Right. So. Just assumed. Um, I never really been assaulted in a match, but you can bet that after that, after the game, there were some very, very close near flights. Oh, I've been assaulted in match, during match, before match, after match. I've had some, I've made some fights. I was a right back. I started, I started as a right back, but like I just, he just like <clears throat> with me, I was always placed where I was needed for the game. So like it's like all right, this is this is the guy. He's in the middle. So that so today I'm a center back. Oh, this is the guy. He's on the wing, on the left wing. I'm the left back. That's kind of what it was with me. You put me to kind of stop the best player because I prided myself on shutouts. You're not scoring on me. You're not getting past me. Now, if it's if it's, if it's basketball, you are getting past me. Because <laughs> once I get a screen, I act like, yo, what happened? I, I, yo, I act like I got screened so hard, bro. I'm not fighting through that shit. I hate it. As a former defender, we really the backbone of a good team. Talk. That's what I'm saying. Talk. Like, I just, 
I just I have so much respect. Like I'm I'm the one person I know, and not, and not to say I haven't seen other people do this, but I probably have the most amount of defenders in my top ten or favorite players than most people do. Because most people when I, I talk to them, their favorite defenders. their favorite players tend to be strikers and midfield attacking midfielders, and I've, I I have no problem with that. But you might see like three in mind. The rest are defenders or defensive midfielders, <clears throat> and a couple of keepers. I, have I respect for a couple a couple of keepers. Julio has a special place in my heart for all those years he was the Lulu top was, tier Lulu was Barcelona. probably the first one I liked. Thurman, so Lillian, no. so he found the first one I like. I kind of liked, and then I like Ramos too. But he 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 has some it unhinged himself, low key. Yes, so. that's another loose cannon. <laughs> like low key worse than Pepe. But I was I was I was I was just about to ask you, player. is he worse than Pepe? I'm about to ask you. <laughs> I was just about to ask you, is he worse? Is he, he worse? He's so good. So like people turn a blind eye to it. But man, I've never seen a defender rack up red cards like him. Simi, he might just hit you with a super kick to the chest in your sternum, bro. Oh Why? my god. Where the clean no <laughs> <laughs> Some of these niggas are just unhinged, bro. I don't know what it is. They get like a bad car or something, they get pissed, they just do something stupid. Fucking hit yeah, you with a leaf world wind. Like as, a defender. <laughs> as a defender, you gotta be like that though, kinda. I feel it. Like I like I see I do like a body check or something, you know, like drop to the ground. <laughs> like kick you in your fucking shit, like I've never tried to clean a man on purpose like that. I really haven't. I will push you. I will pick you up and throw you if I have to, too. But, like, I don't just be I've, punching and kicking people. I've never kicked someone to make them go down, but I've definitely trucked somebody before. Exactly. I broke someone's collarbone in college. So, I, was, I didn't oh. on purpose, though. But yeah, that's in a stretcher. <laughs> like, he broke his collarbone. I'm like, I did? It's like, yeah. I'm like, well, you should, you, should to, you should have to tap the ball around me and run around me. That was the dumbest possible thing you could have ever thought to do in your history of your life. <laughs> what the fuck? Niggas aren't faster than me. Cut it out. Um, literally been bad from playing. I'm an active detriment to the team. That's crazy. Basically, I'm hilariously bad at it. That's funny. Zizou, uh, next French coach, confirmed. Haha, I have signatures from Chilene and Marchisio. Never really a striker, but mostly a forward and sometimes a midfielder. I hear that. I don't enjoy scoring. My record was four goals in one game. It was nice, but I wasn't moved. Blocking was also better than me. I, actually, four goals is my is my game high, too. I have, I have a couple of hat tricks, but that's like one of those games where I'm like, I just, I just, I'm feeling it, but I, I, I was always like leading, leading in assists and like significant stops and whatnot. Not really my three top three defenders. Conte's up there for you. Top three defenders for me. I got Lulu. Probably. Damn. Let me think about that for a second. But he's probably up there. My boy from the <laughs> Dutch van. I never remember what van it is. I always have to look up the vans because there's so many of them. I like him. Van Dyke? There we go. I like him. Van Dyke is good. He let his country down this World Cup, though. He did, but. <laughs> the Dutch just be, they, I, I, could, it, I was, they were the ones where I'm like, if, I'm like, if the Dutch don't stop them, they're going to the finals. That's the one I was worried about. <laughs> like, if the Dutch don't stop them, I'll see them in the finals. I know what it is. As much as I like Croatia, and I was like, all right, I'm rooting for y'all. I didn't believe. Deep in my heart, I didn't believe. <laughs> I didn't believe deep when when you say defenders, like, are you including fullbacks too or just center backs? No, I'll, I'll, I'll include the fullback. I don't mind fullbacks. Fullbacks, fullbacks. fullbacks if backs, we including backs. fullbacks, Danny Alves is my boy. Oh, my Danny God, Alves I love him. There. He's up there. I do want to do, like, I do want to, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe we'll be, I'll, I'll, like, set up a stream, maybe. I said I wanted to do a stream where I talk about a lot of my favorite players. Maybe I'll still do a top ten ranking, but maybe I'll do one based on positions. Or maybe that maybe some, that's something I can do, and I'll talk to you guys about it because on the spot, on the spot is hard for me. Because even when they asked me on Twitter and I did it on the spot, I think I had, I think I had Iniesta there, and then I'm like, I definitely mm. like Hernandez more. I lied, <laughs> like like I, I it's hard for me to do it on the spot sometimes. I'm like nah, I think like Hernandez is just a just a just a tidbit more, even though NES is special. And mind you, when they had their little their little mini dynasty from 2008 to 2012, I wasn't fucking with Spain. They were pissing me off. <laughs> I needed them to lose because I had a lot of Spanish people on my team. So every day I had to hear it. 
<laughs> Every day I had to hear it, bro. They just nah, come to the pitch. This... They come to the pitch in their jerseys. I'm like, fuck y'all niggas, man. <laughs> it was a nigga on Twitter that said that Luka Modric making it to two semifinals at the World Cup was more impressive than anything that the Spain midfield had ever done. And I was just looking at that tweet so motherfuckerly, like, so winning two Euros in a World Cup in a six-year span is not as impressive as making it to a World Cup semifinal two times? I just don't understand some people's logic when it comes to this football shit sometimes, man. That's that's kind of why, like, I've always said, like, Basketball, basketball, like basketball, like to some degree, I still do this. But like with football, sometimes I see the opinion, like I'm just not gonna talk to you about this sport because you're not being serious. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. You're not being serious. Like you just, like even when the thing was on PSG, and I'm not a messy guy, and they're like, oh, you can't score no more. He's washed up. It's over. It's happening. And I'm like, are y'all serious? Is that whose team does this belong to? First of all, it's Mbappe's team. Okay. So. And what is he actually doing, though? Is he not distributing the ball well? He was like, like I just like, I like, like, do you just not watch? And you just, you just want to be a part of this fucking conversation for no reason? Like, I, I can't take y'all seriously. I can't do it. I just not. That's the it, those it was so SMSs. Funny. I did not. No, go ahead. It, it was funny to me because I was like, Messi played at Barcelona for fifteen years. You think he's just gonna go to a different club and then just start? picking up right where he left off. Like, he has to familiarize himself with the new tactics. It's a different coach, different system, different players around him. Like, come on now. Like, oh, he's only good because he's a system player. Da-da-da, da-da-da. And I'm like, this is so... I can't take these... these like, if you want to have this conversation, I'll have it with you. But if you're going to make arguments like this, I won't talk to you about it. I'm not doing this. Sorry. And then now this year, he's back to normal. Very but unserious to me. those of us that actually watched the sport knew that was going to happen anyway. So, mm. Mbappe getting the selfish allegations is a true Ronaldo fan would. <laughs> he does move. He does move weird sometimes. That's what. That's probably part of the reason where I'm like, I don't know, man. But he's now. Nah, don't weird don't get it twisted. Mbappe is definitely a glory hog. Mm. He's a great player, but he's definitely a glory hog. It, it's it's yeah. in, it, and I have no problem with that because he's producing results. Yeah. But it's, it's definitely moments where I'm just like, you know you could have passed that, right? <laughs> yep. Like the game against Morocco. I don't know what the fuck he was on that day. Oh, my gosh. He just kept trying to beat them 2v1. I'm like, bro, you already pushed the ball into the final third, stop the ball, wait for everyone to catch up, and build an attack. Like... I get it though. Like I get it. When you're the best player on the team sometimes. And like you're just like, all right, bro. You almost have like an Akashi moment, like, all right. Y'all some bums. I'm, <laughs> I'm taking over. Like win or lose, we'll lose by my will. You know? I've been there. Yeah. I get it. I understand that. But there's sometimes we he does that and he activates it where I'm like, what is the reason? <laughs> they're not they're not you didn't even score. <laughs> Like you not even like you're like like this is a game where I can understand it. You know what I'm saying? Or like yep. I don't know, man. Morocco. I, I I feel you. Do you think having Benzema on the bench would have improved Fenty's chances? When did Giroud die? Semifinals before that? I don't dislike Giroud. I really don't. But I do like Benzema more. I I heard he he wasn't here because he was hurt. And he's my he's a Ballon d'Or winner. I'm pretty sure having the Ballon d'Or winner probably could have helped stuff, but I don't know. I I don't think our problem, you know just, just our simple problem simple to me. Go ahead. I hear you. <laughs> my problem. The thing that I want to say is I truly believe that our defense was undisciplined, out of position, and just not good since England. That yeah. was my problem. Yup. Yeah. Yep. And we scored first every game, and that's the reason that we were able to just kind of like last. And my and, by, and like I said, don't act like the, I'm not going to pretend the MVP the MVP for that England game was not the ref. That was our best player that game. And then in Morocco, <laughs> the soccer gods were with us because they got some fucking shots on net that I couldn't believe they were missing, or we were just kind of just like by the skin of our teeth getting away from. Football gods were with us that day. That's why I'm like, if we come out the same way we we do we did the last two games, we about to lose four nothing, and we were down two zero early. And I said, "Yep, keep playing like this, see what happens." That was my issue. 
it wasn't really necessarily the offense. Mind you, our offense wasn't as good, wasn't that good for our defense to be that bad. But I wasn't, I wasn't worried necessarily about attacking. I knew we could, you know, get enough to to, to win games. But it, it was really counter attack and stuff. We just get caught. And like, it's <clears> almost <throat> like we were afraid to press forward, and we'd lose the ball in the stupidest fucking spot and get ca- and and have our ass out on a fucking counter attack. Yeah. Um. From the the quarterfinal onward was definitely a problem for France because when I was watching the game against England, like England will never scare me in soccer, well, football, whatever, but they they will never scare me because I know that their team is full of choke artists and bottlers. Hottie Ken! (laughs) Hottie Ken! Like, watching the game, I was like, oh yeah, France got this. But then, when they conceded the first penalty, I was like, wait a second. Like, the game, you know what I said about, you know, once you peel one back. And I'm watching, I'm like, England is kind of dominating France right now. Like, they were the first to the ball. They were moving it with no sense of, like, fear of a counterattack. I mean, uh, Kyle Walker was, like, trying to keep up with Mbappe, and he couldn't really, but he was getting help from, um, what's that boy's name? What's that fullback on England's name? I can't remember. Uh, but, yeah, like, basically, they were pressing. They were winning the ball. They had a lot of set pieces. And I'm watching the game. I was like, this is very uncharacteristic of France. Like, England is a team they should stomp 3-1 at the least. Mm. And then the game against Morocco, like, they scored in, like, the opening minutes. I'm like, all right, it's one nothing. Yo. Pretty much most of the game. Mm. And then I'm watching the game. I'm like, Morocco is thoroughly the better side. Morocco woke up after that kept goal. Pressing. Yeah, like I, I was like, bro, they have set piece after set piece after set piece. They're inside they're they were practically living inside of France's 18. They just couldn't finish. I was surprised they wasn't able to put at least one goal on the board because they kept pressing something serious. That bicycle kick would have been the goal of the tournament if he had converted that. I couldn't believe I couldn't even believe he had all the time to do that. I said, "Look at this shit." <laughs> that's what my pat was that like. Was a I was like, like France won, but I like what I see. I'm like, I'm like I'm, I was an Argentina fan. I'd be licking my lips and rubbing my hands to barbecue chicken. <laughs> like I know, I know exactly why he's feeling the way he's feeling. I'm gonna rubbing my hands like, bring, give me France, give me this France, bro. Oh my lord. <laughs> And it, the thing is, like, it carried over into the next game. So I'm over here like, all right, we're up 2 nothing. The third is going to come, and that's going to be the game. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I was on my knees for that third goal. You don't understand. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I woke my sister up when we, when we equalized. <laughs> I yelled so loud. Yeah. I said, it's not when fucking they over! <laughs> <laughs> just screamed so loud. My mom, when they my went, dude's like you're alive again. I'm like, yeah, so back. <laughs> they went into extra time. I'm over here thinking to myself, like, if they go to penalties, Argentina probably has a solid chance. But you never know. You cannot. You cannot take that chance. What I so, no matter how much no, no matter how much I believe in my my squad. In terms of PKs, I never want to go there. I just, it just, it just too much is dependent on too many things that like out of like, like, like win the match. I never want yeah. PKs for my team. Never. I don't care how good they are at it. I just don't. Like you said, you just never know, bro. I myself have missed, uh, missed a penalty before, a crucial one. I'll never forget that. Mind you, we won the Ontario Cup the next year, but that year, I, for a whole year, I had to sit on that PK, bro, to the point there's like two I didn't want to take in the season. I didn't want to take them. I was like, nah, I don't deserve to take these. <laughs> uh, statistics for this World Cup are crazy, though. Football getting more competitive. Oh, the Luke Shaw you're thinking of? Luke Shaw? Was it Luke Shaw? Uh, no, it wasn't him. Mm-hmm. Then Hold on, let me, let me go big, back. A big juicy slap. Yeah, he does. That wasn't that wasn't his, one of his best games. Most saved by goalkeepers in this in this World Cup. They did really good. They're getting better. I don't understand why Giroud was subbed out. Horrible mistake from France. I do think that he made that that decision too early because there's a lot of set pieces we got later that I thought Giroud would have been great 
for being in the middle for. I probably would have subbed him out around the 60th minute if I wasn't seeing what I wanted, not in the first half, but it is what it is. Um, now, I, I get why he took him out because Giroud was not a threat to that Argentina back line. Feel it. Because, you know, he doesn't have pace. And mm-hmm. that's that's what really bothers South American teams, pace. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, he's going to be up Putting on Colo and, and Marcus was probably why he did that then. But fair enough. Yeah, because he, he, he needed to stretch that back line thin. Who, who, who's y'all goal of the tournament? I low key like the one I saw today with Mbappe's second goal. But let me think though. Let me think about that because th- I'm pretty sure there was one in the in the um the goal of the stages. tournament that was really good. Yeah, but let me think about that. I'll have to see them all again. I oh, I didn't see them, every single one. Did I see that one? Yeah, Richarlison. He scored a bicycle kick. That shit was fucking ridiculous. Oh, well, fair enough. All right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cheat though. Uh, Jude Bellingham. That's who I was thinking of. Okay. Yeah, he was MVP for England that day. Script writing. I think Morocco would have beaten Ar- would have beaten Argentina. I don't know about that one. No. Just because of experience. Like experience, and they don't have somebody that can threaten Argentina's back line. That's the thing too. They're a good defensive team, but like kind of get up, kind of get up like really like they like they didn't they didn't blow out any teams that they won. Right? They usually win like with a small margin. Yeah. So one nothing. That's the, usually the a testament team, of you being a great defensive team, not necessarily a great attacking team. Go ahead. Yeah, the only team they really dominated like that was Belgium. Belgium was just so unserious this tournament. Yep. <laughs> I still think we're the second best play, best, um, best team in that group. Our group, but it is what it is. Second best. Was it, who was who was in our group? It was it was Croatia, Morocco, and Croatia. Oh, was Marco in our group too? I don't. I might forget my fault. I yeah. forgot that. Never mind. Then. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but Canada definitely was better than Belgium, even though they lost to them. They yeah. they dominated them. Their yeah. set pieces were just atrocious well, that day. You know what? I forgot Morocco was there. That's my fault. That's my fault. But so we're so we're the third best in that group. But it is what it is. Um, Brett Charleston's bicycle kick. You know. You know. Wait. I don't. I don't got the clutch gene. I do, but not that day. That was a bad day. I got. A, I got it back the next year. I had two goals in the. I had two goals in the. I got two goal. The team, the team that beat us in the Ontario Cup, we faced in the tor- in the quarterfinals that year. I beat. I got, I had two goals. We won three one. I had a, I had a I had a bounce back here. Um, decisive. I live in the West Coast, by the way. This game was early as fuck for me. Uh, well, for me it was ten a.m. I think it was Tunisia, not Morocco. Oh, okay. So, 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 so if that's true, then then I then I then I, I go back to what I said. I don't I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, let me look at the groups again. Yeah, look at it one more time for me. I don't remember us playing Morocco, but there was one game I didn't watch them play because the because they lost the first two games. I never bought it. It was Morocco. What is he talking about? Yeah, Morocco, Croatia, Belgium, Canada. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Is it um the best save goes to the Ghana keeper? Ghana came to play. I don't like Ghana names. That's where my name comes I must from. Be talking about my... something else. My, my oh yeah probably I think so I don't think they're talking something about Morocco I was talking about Tuscany I don't know but yeah Belgium was 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 um Hazard Hazard is is is, is from Belgium right am I is, right am I right yeah uh, yeah is he there there's two of them too yeah he was there he was a ghost but he was there same thing with Kevin De Bruyne <laughs> also a ghost yeah Lukaku missed some some <sighs> Bro. some uh pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Gee, for a striker, that's unacceptable. Yeah, that that performance was absolutely unacceptable. That was horrible. But injury just dusted him. Yeah, then Hazard was cooked. Lukaku had an all-time shame shame performance. Lukaku. Mm-hmm. All right, Morata going to Inter Milan. Lukaku, Jojo Part, Rukaku, Kakololo. Who said Lukaku or Rukaku? He said it's the fruit from um, from Jojo Leon. The Rukaka. <laughs> the Rukaka. <laughs> uh, y'all funny, man. But I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna watch Mbappe a bit a bit more this year. I don't really want to watch PSG like that, but it is what it is. If I had to choose a goal aside from Richarlison that I really liked in this tournament. It would probably be that goal that Japan scored to beat Germany. 
I, I, I can't like, remember his name, but I like the set piece when he beat Neuer in your post. Used. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. Oh yeah, that one was really good too. Even though it, it almost carved my heart out my chest, but that was a great one. Mm-hmm. KDB wanted to leave ASAP. He missed Pep and Holland. Did you see the comments? I didn't know. He, he him, him. I'm gonna watch a lot more this year too. By the way, make sure he's Kevin De Bruyne. No, um, Holland. Oh, Holland. Yeah, yeah he's he's him. he's a beast for City. He's going through a little bit of a dry spell recently, but uh, I think it was September. My God, he had like back to back hat tricks. Was just scoring goals every single game. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, man, there's, there's some prolific goal scorers. It's crazy to me. Like, I'm not like, I like, I just, I don't have that in me, bro. I'm a prolific assister, but I'm not a prolific goal scorer. If I have, if there's, if, if, if I'm in a season, I'd argue more often than not, say there's what? Say there's 16 teams, and you do what? You, so you do an, an away game and a home game, so you play like 32 games. I'll probably end the season with like maybe 10 goals. But I'll probably have twenty assists, north of twenty assists. So that's how I am. Most mostly, if I score, I score from from a long range shot or breakaway. But mostly, I would score. I'd have I I've also people. I have like I have like like the amount of headers that I've scored. Like it can't be more than six. <laughs> <laughs> So I am the most reluctant header of all time. I'm not acrobatic. I'm, I have no scissor kick, bicycle kick. I've won like one scissor kick. No bicycle kick. I don't got that. That's not in my bag. I admit it. I'm not an aerial artist. <laughs> Free kick is in my bag. Yeah. So it's the same. And corner, I have a lot of corner kicks from the right side specifically, though. Not from the left. Oh, corner, corners, I let them have it. I'll go in a box. <laughs> Throw that thing up there, baby. I'll head it down. See, I won't. So I might as well kick, take the kick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have do you have footage of your goals in gameplay? I have I have a highlight reel that I was I was going to use for my for college, but I never needed it. I got I got I got um a scholarship before I had to use it. See if I can find that um find it, but it is on a VHS. I think not on a VHS, not on a DVD. It's like four eighty p probably, but I'll see if I can find that for you guys. Um. It's basically that Belgium is too old to play this competition after losing the opener. I was saying, well, my opinion, Japan was clicking. They turned off the burners, though. Well, they went out really, 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 really sad in those PK. I could not believe what I was seeing. I'm like, what are these dinky little fucking bitch ass nigga kicks? Meh. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. They need to work on that. Mm-hmm. So. They need to work on that. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, man. But. This was a special World Cup, all things considered. It was absolutely. I had a great time. I, I didn't. I didn't expect it to be this good, all things considered. I don't know why, but I didn't. I was very. I was very impressed, man. I had fun. Like, I think twenty ten is the most. It's the most fun I've had since. But this yep. was good, though. This Same. was good. This was really good. Well, I mean, I like. I like twenty eighteen because France did the thing, and I was rooting for them. So that well, was a good World Cup. I like that World Cup too because of the result, but I don't know. South Africa was special. It was. It was. I remember the, I was the Jabulani ball too, bro. It was booming me. <laughs> Man. That's one of my you guys don't know that that's class. one of my middle names. Niamanchi Llewellyn Jabulani Maris Hemings. One of my names. I was going through class and all I could hear in the hallways was fucking TVs on with the Vuvuz Wellas playing in the background. Whole hallway sounded like a bunch of buzzing bees. It was <laughs> like, bro. Teachers weren't even attempting to teach something at the end of the year. They were all in their classrooms watching the game. That's see, I see, I respect that. I like for for me, I was at work, but like, listen, it's funny because like I'll get caught because I'm watching on my phone, and my boss is like, "What's the score?" <laughs> <laughs> he don't care that I'm not working. He wants to know what the score is, bro. I don't know what the score is. He's like, what's the score? It goes once every four years, man. You think I'm about to stop what I'm doing? It's to the point that these guys end up holding like an inner work, small little futsal um um tournament. 
I obviously bodied everybody, but yeah, it was it was it was it was crazy. It was fun because even like like it was like lunch. Like it was lunchtime. There was a match on, and like our, the break's over. You don't care. Everyone's still in the, in the break room watching the game. It was it was dope. It was dope. So shout out to Russia for that, man. Uh, rate this World Cup out of ten. I'll give it a nine, probably. No, it's, it's a ten, 10 for me, 10. baby. It's a 10. It's a ten. It's a ten. It's not perfect, but it means a masterpiece. Not perfect. It means it's perfect, but it's a masterpiece. I, I didn't. I didn't see any trash games this World Cup. Honestly, when I say the least exciting game for me might have been Croatia Morocco, but that's I had no emotional investment in any capacity though, so I don't know if that's really the reason why I didn't really, you know what I'm saying? But probably agree with mm. that. Though I can say this is the least amount of games I've been to see. Usually, I see every single game. Real talk. I would probably say the most, the the least engaging game for me was Morocco and Portugal, mostly because I was kind of surprised. That that Morocco came out the way they did, or no, that Portugal came out the way they did. I I kind of felt like they had this air to them during the game, like, oh, we're Portugal, we just scored six goals in the previous game, we're gonna be able to knock back a couple more. And then the clock was ticking after a certain point, they started getting desperate. But I'm like, bro, it's too late. Morocco has already settled into their defensive line. It's too late. Mm. Portugal was. Portugal was was a was a squad I was I would say probably for the second time I wasn't rooting for, despite being a Ronaldo guy. I just wanted to, to, him to do well and not and, and go out with dignity. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about them. I don't know. I don't, I didn't I didn't have a, a a strong opinion. The only thing I can say is that I I do think they play a lot differently when Ronaldo's on the pitch and when he's off the pitch. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it's that they feel they feel like they have to respect the work that he's done. They have to capitulate to him, and he's kind of an egotistical maniac and a baby. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's part they of play it. With a, they play with a different type of freedom, or like in like <clears throat> when they, when he's not. And, and I'm 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 sure Ronaldo knows it too. Yeah, but like it's his last World Cup, so you can't not play him, especially if he's fit. Like for me, like for me, like because cause like because like I think I was misunderstood at one point. I didn't I didn't go I didn't go into the argument when I was on was on the TL. The reason that I said that I I still I said he's still your best player was because of his body of work. But I understand as as an old as a as an as an aging man myself, I understand the like the father time thing, where it's like you can't deny the work he's done, the skills that he currently has, the physical abilities he has right now, because he still jumps out the gym. I still see him jump over hella people and whatnot. And, like, probably pound for pound, I don't think he's a better player than him. But because he's... Because he's... Be, he What's what's the line I like that I liked about they said about Biden? He has one one foot in the precipice of eternity, right? He does, he doesn't have it the way that he has it. You can't just turn it on and off. He has to pick his spots very carefully because he's it's old man Rondo time. You know what I'm saying? Rondo time, right? So it's, it's kind of like it kind of reminds me how how I see like older players like like maybe like LeBron like he has to pick and choose his spots very carefully because with me I always tell people when I was young when I'm when I'm when I'm like 19 and running down the running down like a full court like full like full like down the pitch even from from like my from my from my end to the other end. I'm fine. I'll just run back. Right? Or that takes Mm -hmm. 2 MP. At 29, that takes 10 MP. (laughs) Okay? Like, it doesn't... The the, the amount of mana I have to consume to do the same thing as an older man just takes more out of me. So I have to be more selective. I just didn't agree with the narrative they were trying to build around that. But I understood. I I actually thought it was better for him to come off the bench, all things considered. Yes, that was the right decision. Yes, that I agree with. But I'm not gonna. You're not gonna sit there and look at me and point at a player and tell me they're better than him. Like, no, they're not. I'm sorry, I I don't agree with that. Then you have that fucking nigga beating his meat on stream. What is wrong with him? What's wrong with Who? niggas, bro? What? Who? What? Ramos has a there's, a there's a video of Ramos beating his fucking meat, bro. Ramos. Uh, Goncalo. I I, I don't I don't remember his first name. Um, he had a hat trick. Oh, he, he, was, the gun, he, he does the gun, the, the little gun celebration. He pushed the gun at you. I don't, remember. I, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. That's why, I did, that's why I just said Rambo. Hold on. 
You talk about the player, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was beating his meat on stream, like literally? On a video or something. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you see my tweet where I'm like, do not, do not, do not look up why Goncalo Ramos is, is trending. And people are like, bro, bro. I'm like, why won't y'all listen? <laughs> I mean, telling them not to do something will make them want to do it. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I shouldn't have, but I, I, I saw I'm trending. I just wanted to see why. Like, I just, because it's football related. For me, it wasn't anything else. And I'm like, oh, my fucking goodness. Yeah, they deserve to lose. <laughs> they deserve to lose. Uh, oh, shit. Because what is that? Yeah, Portugal, you need generation. Ronaldo's hair touched the ball. Ronaldo, all bro, not near the same thing. They say he was the same. That was not what I was. That was not, that wasn't that, that eating this stuff. I said Ronaldo doesn't play versus Morocco. He got like twenty five minutes. Can't blame him for that result. I kind of agree, but at the end of the day, with the twenty five minutes that he had, he didn't produce. Ronaldo had me feed me ball. It's a feed me ball players now. Yep. While Messi creates chances and scores. Lol. Bro came out of that. Came out of nowhere. I know it's a football player, but now you're bringing up that of nowhere. Lol. <laughs> Messi was sprinting back to their own half this game. Versatile goat. Uh, one thing I always give him, uh, I've always, I've always said about Ronaldo, he doesn't, he doesn't really, he doesn't really play any defense like that. You know, just kind of, there's times, he, there's moments and stuff. But like generally speaking, like I'll see Messi lose a ball and be like, oh hell no, nah. give me that back. Cause that's how I am. <laughs> like oh no 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 no, I want that back. <laughs> I need that. So, I hear y'all. Um, hang on now. Give me a second. I, I'm gonna tinkle. Pat, you're in charge. Oh. I'm in charge now. Yeah. Oh, uh, this night normally good. Messi was sprinting back to their own half this game versus El Goat. Yes, sir. Messi. Yep, that's Goat. Portugal switched two DMs versus Morocco. They played one versus Switzerland. I mean, I don't really understand why they did that. They needed to press forward. There was no need for them to defend even more because Morocco doesn't have anybody that can challenge them. We need a over forty football league. Yeah, married to the ball. Pat, you in charge? Do something wild before Naya comes back. Hey, listen, this is not my stream. I got to do something wild. But um, yeah, Messi, he'll he'll come back. That that was actually one of the criticisms that uh people have for Mbappe because he doesn't track back for the ball, which I mean it's fine. Because it's not his responsibility anyway. But with the way their midfield was getting dominated like that, and you have to do something, I guess. But, um, Sammy. Yeah. What was your favorite game of the tournament? Yeah, that's that's actually a very good question. Because for me, aside from the final, of course, Japan versus Germany was turned the fuck up. You see, I actually didn't get get to see that shit. Damn. Nah, that game was like real life anime storyline, bro. Because <laughs> 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 Germany scored first, and then Japan equalized like late in the game, and then after that, uh, Japan scored close to the goalkeeper's near post. That's one of my favorite goals of the tournament. He, like right on the line, almost like he just, like, yeah. he just got it before it went out. No, 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 that's you're you're thinking of when they beat uh Spain in a oh. group stage. I'm talking, oh, I'm talking man. about in Germany because they they it was a long ball forward, and a player got to the ball and it was one on one with the defender, and then Neuer stayed on his line, and he beat him near post, like he kicked the ball over Neuer's head and it went in. And that angle was damn near impossible to score from. So I was like, bro, how the fuck did you score that? Yeah, I Japan think was, fucking... they was litty to titty that day. <laughs> Netherlands versus Argentina was, was my favorite because I had the fucking Dutch hatred going on. Oh, cause yeah. They, they, got, they got Glizzy Nation out of here. I was pissed. <laughs> right? <laughs> then support, support the women, bro. You'll win. <laughs> Then on freaking on then on one championship, I seen that nigga D Ritter get his ass beat and lose one of his titles. I said, "All right, that's one Dutch L. Let me get a second one." I come here, watch this shit. These niggas come on here, this fucking colossal ass niggas, six seven ass niggas. The whole team just giant ass walls, and they just would not go away. 
Them niggas were the Terminators. They literally did. Oh my God. That game had, had to dust out all reliable from high school. <laughs> Shout out Adidas. All <laughs> my shit. I was like, why does he have that? <laughs> 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 no, I understand their colors. Are, their colors are nice because that's my favorite type of blue. Like baby blue, light blue, sky blue is my favorite blue. So their their kid is their kid. You know fire. what's funny? People were on the timeline like, oh, look at Argentina. They don't, they're so classless. They have no respect for the Dutch. I'm like, do y'all niggas not know the history between Argentina and Netherlands? They have met in the World Cup more times than any other two teams, and they've had some very dramatic finishes. These two countries do not fuck with each other. <laughs> and the storyline continued. Went to freaking pens. The Netherlands literally did every single thing that they needed to do to win. I'm like, bro, these niggas really are the Terminators. Like, they just don't go away. Like, you literally just got to drop the nuke. They did not go away until the final pen shot. And I'm like, bro. Go on somewhere! Leave! Damn! <laughs> I'm so pissed. I still hope in my lifetime I see them win one, cause that to me is the best the best football nation to never to never hoist the World Cup trophy. Personally speaking, I would agree I could with be that. Wrong, but I could be wrong, but that, that's what I think. No, I I, I agree, but fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> A lot of players I like are from there, so I can't. You know what I'm saying? So. I've oh, seen two um, teams. I'll, I'll have two questions for you, Pat. One, one on um, the chat is, oh. Pat, who is your opinion the worst player you have the displeasure of watching? I had to think about that one. I didn't even come up with a, a, a complete answer, so you might have to think about that one. The worst player, like he just sucks. Like the, the like like the worst player, the most like the worst player you have the, the displeasure of having the witness. Like for me, it's like, it's like I'm. A, I don't know if I could say that because like I still respect all of them for being professionals at the end of the day. But it's like there's players that piss me off. That that I that are on my own teams that like sometimes it pissed me off, but it was, it was kind of hard for me. But I I don't know I don't know. Oh, if it, if we're going by that, then it's PK. I fucking hate him. Well, that for me that that for, that for me is Pepe. Like like bro, this guy is just it's just I don't. What's wrong with I, him? And, and but, the reason I hate PK is because he's tooted as this world class defender, mm-hmm. and I've, I've never in my life with my own two eyes see a world-class defender, quotation marks, makes so many lapses in judgment. He just, he cost us so many games over the years. I'm just like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I know he's washed now, but, mm-hmm. but like this past year, even in the Champions League, he just, he played a long ball so terribly. And then he makes the fucking, the gesture to like tell guys to like calm down. I'm like, bro, there's a player behind you. And then he scored. I just don't get it with him. Every single classical, he always did something stupid. Mm-hmm. And it's not like shit like picking up a red card that I can deal with because, you know, mm-hmm. defenders are supposed to be unhinged. But it's just like, why are you letting them run behind? Like, why are you trying to play them off sides? Just stick with your man. Yeah, man. <laughs> No, nah, he's he's not he. I don't know. I I I never. I was never a huge uh fan of him personally. I don't. I wasn't a fan of him like that. He, pisses, he, was, he pisses wasn't the off. worst player. I dislike him. That's a stretch. I'm not calling him the worst player. That's not what I'm saying. My point. My point was he. I never knew what when his emotions were gonna boil over. So he used to stress me out. That's all I'm saying. I'm not calling him bad personally. But Pepe was the one player on Portugal. Every time, like I'm, I'm just watching him, like. Him and Karezma, I guess. Like, are y'all gonna blow y'all top? <laughs> like, y'all, just, y'all just gonna get heated? Like, it just. I, 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 I probably, I probably say that as somebody who was like, I argue for like un- until I was about sixteen, I was unhinged. I used to get emotional, angry, pissed, frustrated. I fucking, I kicked the bench over. I was one of those people. That's and and I had to learn to compose myself and become even keeled. I learned that. At I mean, it, it's I don't really have a problem with players that are extremely passionate because emotion you know, is fine. But if it if it's yes, ruling you, you, know that they want to win. Yeah, if it's ruling you though, like I always say this: if I'm angry or you piss me off, you're done. It's cooked. You're over. You'll never win. I've never lost when I'm pissed. If I'm irritated or frustrated, that's a different story. 
I won't play well. Yeah. But if you anger yeah. me, you're done. You you have no chance. Don't piss me off. That's the worst thing you can do. But there's times where like I'm not actually pissed. I'm actually frustrated, and I won't play well that way. Messi kind of has that too, where like he's even killed. But like sometimes I've seen games where defenders try to play mind games on him, and they'll mm. make him mad, and it's like a switch just flips in his head. Mm. Like um the the classical where it has that amazing picture at the end of the game where he held up his shirt. I remember in that game, uh, Madrid scored first, mm. and then uh, we were trying to get one back, and Messi got fouled really hard by Casemiro, like, to the point where he was bleeding. And they had to stop the game for a little bit to stop the bleeding. And it was just like, he was a different player from that point on. Like, like <laughs> he scored a goal, like, probably five minutes after that stoppage, I was like, bro, you woke him up? You woke up the monster. It happened in yeah. the Netherlands game, too, where he, he got fouled, they pissed him off, and then, like, he just started, he was on go. Yeah. No awful VR artists in this cup, the best overall referee in this cup. Cousin Nation is crazy. Van Gaal's a bitch, long balls to the, the tall players. Pepe wasn't the worst player of the stretch, bear. I despise this. Kwan fucked up also. Pepe got an emotional explosion. PK is a great pastor. The ball of the ball changed how center backs played the game. I don't know if I, I don't think I agree with that. Worst referee I don't, I don't in, a, that. in a in not not that he's a bad passer. That part I'm okay with, but I don't know if he changed how center backs changed the game. Yeah, I don't I don't yeah. agree with that. Worst referee efforts in the, in this game when the World Cup, the ref trying not to call that penalty against France when I think Hernandez just checked that nigga against in, in England. Well, I don't remember who it was. Was it was it was it um um, most African player that I like. I, the, the one player I like. I, the one player I like on that team. I how did I forget his name? Anyways. On England. Yeah. Um, Are you talking player. about Saka? Yeah, I think was it him he fouled. I don't remember who it was. Maybe it wasn't him. But he just there was a play. There, there, there was someone he just fouled. He just just he just body checked him after after the shot. I'm like, that ref tried yeah. not to call that, and they're like, oh, he has to check, and he VAR. He looks like, how yeah, can I spin this? Can I spin this? Can I? Yeah, no. It was a very clear penalty. <laughs> right. I was like, what did he no, do? I freaking <laughs> um, they did the non handball call on fucking Messi during fucking versus uh the um Netherlands because that shit was a great like that shit. It actually fucking hit it like it didn't even you know hit the elbow. No, that shit hit his wrist like he was fucking playing basketball. And I was like, no, that ain't that. That's not a handball. Keep playing. Hand of God, bro. Hand of God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Wow, well, what would you yeah, look well, at that?" Sorry, I, I like Saka. I he's he's the one player on that team I actually have some respect for. So, yeah, Saka was really good. I like and that game. Too. He was eating. He was eating up our midfield. I said, "Bro, if y'all don't stop this man, I'm about to fucking lose it." <laughs> but that's probably just, that's probably like, mine. Yeah, a little confused. I don't like when players win the penalty and then they don't get the chance to shoot the penalty. Because I felt like after the first one, because Lloris and Kane are teammates. Oh my God, I got so, the picture. This shit is a hand. They said, nah. <laughs> nah, keep going, Pat. Mm-hmm. My better. Nah, you can send it to nah, me. I'll, I'll post it if you want me to. Yeah, I will. But, but nah, Lloris and Kane are teammates. So you had to know that they've gone up against each other in practice plenty of times. Mm. Wouldn't that suggest that you should probably have someone else take the penalty at least the second time? Because as we've seen, when Lloris guessed which direction he was going to kick it, he panicked. And then he kicked that shit over the ball of the uh, the crossbar. Mm. I'm just like, bro, you really missed it that bad? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, if he guessed right, then fuck it. Just hit it hard. That's what Mbappe did. That's the thing. I actually would... I- like Mbappe went left every time, and the, I, I'm pretty sure the keeper dropped went the right way every time. But you have to understand if you have good power and placement, sometimes that won't matter unless they perfectly timed that block. Yes, because I, I I argue I score that way a lot too. I won't lie to you. I go top right, top yeah, right. If you're, is, if you're top top right is where I like to go, but I place it in the corner. And there's a lot of times the keeper guesses correctly and dives that way, but because I'm 
I'm actually like my, my, my right foot's really good, so I could place it right where I want it. Like I have no problem getting it there. I shoot it hard. I've never act. I've actually never been comfortable enough doing one of those soft ass little in the middle dinky. I'm gonna come hard and go boop. I've never done that. I always shoot it hard to the right more often than not. Yeah, I, I always shoot it hard. But, but when you say right, you mean the keeper's right or your right? My right. So like. Okay. Yeah, my right. I said not top right. right. I said it's top right or top left. I actually usually don't shoot it low uh, more often than not. There's very rarely that I've done that. It's hard. So I, I sent it to you on Discord. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll pull it up. Give me Kate a second penalty. Pen is crazy. What's up? How you doing, bro? Spurs player equals unknown bottlers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, could have, they could have they could have like happy to place it hard in the middle is hard in the middle is underrated. Uh, well, I, it is. I, I switched. Cause, I, cause I, okay, go ahead. Keepers normally dive left to right, so if you hit it straight down the middle, it's like, fuck, I should have just stayed. Mm-hmm. It, it's, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's hard. It's hard, man, but there was something I was reading on, like, the, um, what was it, what do they call it? The, the, the psychology of penalty kicks. I gotta, I gotta, our, our, our shots, I gotta, I gotta look at that, but I have I have I have missed four in my life. Um, that's not true. Yeah, he, he missed, knows the exact number. That's not, not true. I have uh, missed one in my life. I have not converted four. There are three three the keeper has saved, but I've only missed mm-hmm. once. And the one that I missed is the one I was talking about, where it was it was the Ontario Cup, and and I and I hit it top right, but it went above just by a little bit. And I said I can't believe I just did that. But yeah, this is this this is what Timmy's talking about. This one, uh, did, but to me, I'll say this sometimes. Fall. Like I, they're they're a little inconsistent with it, but generally speaking, if let's say I blast the ball at your hand and you literally didn't have a chance to react because you didn't put hand to ball, it went ball to hand. They usually don't call it. I don't know if it's one of those situations like that. His hand went up after he after he kicked it. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's yeah. His hand flailed up when he kicked that, and that shit hit. Shit, it was it's even worse because freaking it looked like it hit his wrist. No, that shit hit his fucking pinky. That nigga said, "Nah, ain't a handball, people." And I said, "Yeah, hey, uh, shit, I'll take it though. Get these get these Dutch out here. Get the ju- Dutchman out here." But yeah, I said, "Hey, ref, wild But see but that, but but, but 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 I but I tend to be like that. Like the way what you just did is tend how I I tend to be. Like I've never not admitted that ref was not on our side for against England. Right, I'm gonna be honest. Mm-hmm. You still end up winning, and winning, and sometimes you can overcome the refs. It happens. I've done it many times, but um, I respect when people admit that. Like, listen, bro, referee was on our side, but hey, it is what it is. Like, people will just <laughs> act like, oh no, you see what you see? How he's three feet away from him, not touching him. He blew the air so hard he dropped. Like, yeah, all right, bro. Like, they will just cap. I don't respect that. And and I and, and the two the two sports I find that shit the most egregious is, is, is basketball and football. They go just make some shit up. Like you don't see that the way that he maliciously did this. Like, no, he didn't. And by the way, a lot of times you need malicious intent or the ref might not call it. So Yeah. Hard to save in the middle, hard to save and Bobby was holding every second pen. He was shaking his way to the ball. I I actually think he was wait, second penalty? He took technically he took three, right? He took the first one and he scored a second he took one. Three today. Yeah. Yeah, the second one was the one I I thought he he looked the most shaky, but I don't know if he was nervous. I can't tell. He classic um, Mbappe. He was shaking for a second. Classic Messi. As long as your hand is in a neutral position, close to your body, it should never be a handball foul. Yeah, G- generally speaking. Yeah, yeah. I know no, rules are different because... for certain for certain for certain levels. Go ahead. I'll I'll, I'll piggyback when you're done. No, nah, the the guy that said that Messi took a great penalty. It's funny because at at the beginning of his career, Messi was known for being a pretty poor penalty taker, and it it actually cost him in the Copa America final one year. He missed it really bad, but he has since worked on it like no other. Like he's turned into a phenomenal penalty shooter. Yeah. I would say the the best penalty shooter I've ever seen though is definitely Ronaldo. He be smashing that shit. <laughs> I'm like, bro. Maybe they like him Ronaldo though, but yeah, he like he's my sometimes favorite. he's missed it, but he he smashes that shit. Him and Neymar, Neymar's really good at his penalties too. Mm-hmm. Like Ronaldo has a really good. I think they call it a knuckleball. Is really good. Like the bro, way like, you, you know those shots no that kind of 
those shots that just go really hard and they have that weird sudden dip. Yep. Ronaldo's Ronaldo's on are crazy. Like some people have more bend and more curve. Not, not that he can't do that, but there's players that do that much better than he does. But that straight knuckleball with that dip, with that pace and power on it. Ooh. Ooh. You got so many of those that I respect. But yeah, so long as um Messi's one of the few to look to look up at look up at goals for Penn. Yeah. But it, it takes a lot of confidence to do something like that, to take your eye off the ball before you're about to shoot it. Yeah. Cause I do that. I like I, I like I the, the way the, the way they take Spencer's little tippy t- t- tickle toes, tippy toes. <laughs> Neymar, <laughs> he's good at it though. He's good at it. I don't think he's a bad penalty taker. I think he's good at it. Yeah, Neymar. When I would take penalties, I would just fucking look for the spot that I want to shoot it at, and then set my body up so I can shoot it that way. Mm-hmm. And if he blocked it, fuck it. Definitely have hit a um. What's the what 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 do they call it actually? When you use your right foot to curl it to the to the right. A tra a tra what? Starts with a T. A travella. I can't remember what the fuck the word is. Travello. I've done that. I've done it a couple of times. <laughs> but um, yeah. I just got yeah. I usually go top right or top left. That's usually where I go. Um, me. I almost got a health uh health attack thing on. I hate how tippy toe and pens. This is frustrating and nerve wracking. I really hate. When like like today today in my opinion, um, our captain could have saved a lot of those pens, bro. I really do. Especially Larissa is really bad at saving penalties. I just he just he just pissed me because like I'm like oh my god, like, there's no way. Yeah, it is what it is though. And Mbappe played out of his fucking mind. That's how they lost in the Euros. Mm-hmm. He couldn't save a single penalty. It's crazy because like, I don't think he's a bad keeper. I really don't. I'm not trying to disrespect. No, he's really good. But Jesus Christ, I like I. It's not. I'm. I. I. I very rarely blame keepers for losing. But but I'm like I. I don't think we took great shots, but I there was at least three of those goals where I thought you could have saved those really and truly. I did. So. Reason not a Spurs player, <laughs> bottler. <laughs> Fair enough. Martinez and Croatia keeper were born for pens. I don't remember if Ochoa was good at penalties. He's, he's a good keeper, but was he good at penalties? I don't remember. Like, generally speaking. I don't know how many I've seen Ochoa do for Mexico. Do you remember? Do you know, Pat, off the top of your head or not? I don't think I've ever seen him take a penalty. Even saving them? Yeah, saving them, saving them, saving them, yeah. Oh, no, he's, he's pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. Right. I've seen him save a couple. Okay, I don't know if I've seen... I, I'm talking about, like, like a, like a shootout, but he's, he, he's, he's a, you know, but yeah. Messi's free kick technique is actually pretty bad. He just chips the ball where no one expects it. I don't know. At the end of the day, he's putting it. He's putting it in the back of the net more, way more often than he's not. You know. So I can't say that. I can't say that. Um, I know they were pros and all, but which keeper has frustrated you the most? Let me tell y'all a story about this man, Victor Valdez. Ah. He's ready. Let him go. Every single time we would be playing a tight game, whether we're up 2 1, 1 0, 3 2, for some reason, you know how when the keeper gets the ball back after he just made like a stop on the ball when the other team is pressing into the box and stuff like that, he just couldn't wait to get the ball back in play. Like, when the keeper is sitting on the ball, laying on the ground, you expect them to lay there for, like, 10 seconds, wait for everybody to move up the field, and then either roll it to the nearest center back or just, like, blast it down the field. This man would give the ball up when the defenders aren't ready, and then the other team would capitalize on it and score. I'm just like, why? Why? Because you're a good keeper, but you just... Why do you do this? You do this all the time. I hear you. I don't think I have one because a lot of the times when the keeper gets blamed for some type of dumb goals, I go, that's not on him. That's the defense. Because a lot of times I see people get mad at the keeper where I'm like, that's not the keeper's fault. That's the defense. 
if the keeper saved that, he would have he would be a hero because in because it's in spite of the defense being fucking ass. So, I tend not to put a lot of like, like sometimes there's some I'm like, bro, what? But like, I don't tend to. I I'm not harsh on keepers. I kind of admit that. I was gonna ask you this before I forget because this was this, this something they asked me on Friday too. Which I think is a good question. If you could think of a player, whether a player you just you just liked or a player playing for the squad, the club that you liked, that you had a lot of expectation for, and they disappointed you. Not to say they're bad players or they're ass, but you expected more for them. And I said Gareth Bale. I was a big Gareth Bale fan, but he didn't. He didn't. Pen you expected more from him. But he was. I did. I, would, I, I There was a point where I really thought Gareth Bale was like, oh, even when Ronaldo left, I'm like, oh, well, hold on, maybe with Ronaldo leaving with Madrid now, maybe I know Gale's kind of injury prone sometimes, and he's a bit of a pace merchant. But I thought, you know, all right, let me see. He he he's the one that came to mind when they asked me that. Well, I don't know if you have one in mind. He's definitely one of the fastest white people I've ever seen in my life. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Wallace, Wallace. <laughs> up and down the field like no other. This shit is crazy. But, um... Mm, him and Robin I have two crazy say, runs I've never seen a lot. I'm like, I'm like I don't know why niggas can move like this. <laughs> and it's funny because Robin ran with that little gimp. So it's like, how are you this fast and you're running like that? Yeah, because like... Hit, 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 yeah, like, like, I, like, my... Like, the my co- my coach has taught me how to run better with strides because I used to run like I'm short when I was younger. Mm-hmm. They're like your rotation is incredible, but you're 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 like you know you're you're taller than most people your age. Why do you run like that? I'm like, oh, it's comfortable. They're like, nah, take longer <laughs> strides. And then they're like, oh, this is different. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. If you have one of them. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe Coutinho. When he came to Barcelona, I was expecting him to do wonders for us, but he ended up not panning out the way I thought he would. Because him at the top edge of the box of the 18, shooting from the top right, it was like almost a guaranteed goal every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mine's, mine definitely it's a shame he didn't pan out. So, yeah. Um, what was the name of that wonder kid that was better than seven year old Mbappe? So Holland's younger than him, so th- that's the only person that comes to mind. But I don't know if we're talking about him, but he's pretty fast from Lionel. He's fast. Neymar, <clears throat> him, Neymar for you, fair. I never loved Neymar immediately, but again, I, I am, I didn't realize this, and the people are like, look at you, you're a Brazilian hater. Like, I'm a Brazilian hater, but like. Yeah, Brazilians don't move me to that degree unless I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Kaka's my guy, though. Hulk is probably my second favorite. Not saying he's better than all the other people, but he's probably my second favorite. Uh, Martinez, save against Fofana. That's final is legendary. This final is legendary. I'm a very salty Barca fan, not going to lie. Fastest white person is low and insult. I'm sorry, bro. They're not fast. <laughs> so they're not. They're not. They're, they're not. Huni was hyped up so as a see Messi a Ronaldo talent like... back in 03. Was he? Was he really? Who? Rooney? Was he really? Rooney? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember seeing that. I don't. I I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing Rooney ever being hyped up as a Messi Ronaldo talent. But Ronaldo, I gotta think about the one. There's two players I remember them saying that with. I gotta think of who that is. But Messi, I remember it was Boyan or or Bojan or whatever. That was like his cousin or whatever. It was Boyan. Yeah. yeah. Like it end up being his cousin. They're like, "Oh, he's more talented." Blah, 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 this is that. I'm like, "Oh, here we go again." So, but, but I Rooney was good. I don't, I don't have a problem with Rooney. I just, I just, he's not my guy. <laughs> he's one of England's best players ever. Yep. I'll give him that. Up, Even absolutely. though his play at the club level didn't really translate internationally like he would have hoped. Mm-hmm. But my thing with English footballers is that they tend to be so overrated. Like, they see one good player, and they're like, oh, my God, he's one of the best. Like, relax. It's because they believe the sport belongs to them. You know it is. Yeah. It's coming home. Mm -hmm. It's coming home every fucking, every time. It's coming home, bro. That shit not going home, eh? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. I love watching England suffer every year. I get an extra special kick out of it. I don't know why. (laughs) <laughs> they lose in some of the most dramatic fashions I've ever seen. Oh, they're so fucking funny. 
uh, young Wayne Rooney special. France only won, only won in finals because of colonization. <laughs> I don't know if he was hyped up like Messi and Ronaldo though. I don't remember that past tense. This was never. It was never. It was never coming home, fam. It wasn't safe for me after the Euros. Uh, never coming home, my guy. <laughs> and I just did just They laugh because like a lot of because like one of my one of the guys I used to play with, his mom's from England, so he's an England guy himself. So every year. He's like, fam, I can't. I, he has a high pitched voice, Loki. Like, fam, I can't believe you're fucking Harry Kane. <laughs> Black and Arabic players really carry France's legacy. I am only talking about Mbappe and the rest of the rest of the Loki frauds. Don't forget the Africa one on twenty in in Russia, bro. That's why. That's why one. That's why that Morocco narrative was never moving me. But it is what it is. I get it though. Yeah, that that 2018 France squad was the France All Star team. I mean, the African All Star team. Yep. Ah, uh, the, the the one sub that bothered me the most was Griezmann. That I, I don't, I'm I'm not sure about. It. I kind of understand. I think I see you just trying to something. Because like, I was trying to explain this to somebody um the other day. I was talking to two people actually, Vince and my one of my cousins, because he's trying to understand the sport more and stuff. Cause like when you guys mm-hmm. played, you guys can sub whenever you wanted, and I'm like I could in my in my club days, and then in rep, when I got provincial, it wasn't it wasn't the same amount as FIFA. I think we got six, like six subs, and then you have to you have to stop. And in the college, if I remember correctly, in college it worked the same way it works in like professional in professional football, but yeah, you only get you. Two. But you could sub somebody back in, though. That was the caveat when I played. So if I came off at the 56th minute because you thought it was, the game was over, and you're like, oh, nah, I need him back on, I could come back in 80th. So I, some of the rules and stuff change depending on where you are and what level you're at. Because even for, like, I know for even like, something like, like basketball, like, the European rules are different to some degree in terms of some things that are in the NBA. And, like, even in college, the cl- shot clock's longer. You play two halves. Like, you have to you have to ask me where it is. And then, then, I, ha- then I could probably tell you. Because, like, one thing I'll tell you is, if MLS has any specific rules to that, I wouldn't know. Because I've only watched one MLS game in the history of my life from start to finish. <laughs> I don't respect them. <laughs> I don't either, so I can't even blame you. So, so I don't watch them. I really don't. So, yeah. Simi. Yes. What was your favorite match in the tournament? Oh, I already answered that. I wasn't there. Was I there? It was fucking um, in Elizabeth Argentina. Because Who was your fucking, favorite player? Because fucking <laughs> Netherlands. I don't know them damn niggas' name. What's wrong you, with you? Could you? Could you? Could you, I don't know if you have. If you, I mean, like if you could remember somebody, describe them. We might be able to tell you. If you have, yeah, if you no, have we, one. Go, we go oh, Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. We got you I next. We got you. Saying. We got you in four years, though, right? <laughs> Shit. Maybe. Shit. Just, just give me some time. I just need to just. I'm coming just, to New York to watch with you. What's up? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'm coming too. Shit. I can't go. I don't know if I'm going to Mexico, but I'll be in Canada and America. I don't want to go to Mexico. <laughs> Shit, nah, yeah, yeah, man, man, nigga, shit, yeah, so, yeah, I fucking saw him game fucking Barclays, nigga, I take the fucking train, I take the Q train and fucking watch some World Cup, nigga, the fuck are you talking yes. about? <laughs> hey. But, um, but what I was saying was freaking, because them fucking Dutch, they was like the fucking Terminators, is what I was saying earlier, that they just oh, would okay. not go fucking away. I had my hatred for getting Glizzy Nation out of here, but them niggas, they was playing to stay, and they did every single thing that they needed to do to win the game. But it was just left up to fucking luck and hope mm-hmm. and shit. And I was just like, damn, these niggas just don't go nowhere. I was so pissed. And then we finally got the, the fuck out of here. I was relieved. And I also explained earlier in the week when that game happened, one fighting championship had a show where a Dutchman, Day Ritter, was defending one of his titles and he got his ass fucking destroyed. So that was one Dutch loss I was coming off of, and I needed a second one, and I got it. Very good week for me. It's I feel it. 
Yeah, just give me a few that. just I just need to watch a few more games. Like I get I could get used to these niggas' names and shit. I already watched one, so I'm already used to oh. all, all these fucking European European names and shit, foreign names and shit. Bro, even even me, I forget names all the time, so it's not like it's not like, there's a lot to remember. It was it sorry, is. just 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 so you guys know, it was twenty sixteen MLS Cup um Toronto FC versus the Seattle the Seattle Sounders. That's the only MLS game I watched from start to finish. Without any any low key know I'm from Toronto, that's probably why I watched it. I was like, all right, I'll watch. Chiefs it. just won. Let's go. So a game. There you go. Um, nah, I'm definitely I'm going to Mexico. I need to know. I feel it. Feel it. If the Latino C cloud is deserved, it is. They did a did a good Mexico. The yo yes <sighs> overall the key player for France tournament, like. Griezmann was good for the most of the tournament. The, today he wasn't. Yeah, he, he was. He, he didn't do anything um crazy, but yeah, but the reason that's why I was trying to tell people because a lot of people assume that my favorite player was just Mbappe. I get it because he's a star, but like my favorite player on that team is Griezmann. I don't like Griezmann very much, but this World that. Cup he did his thing. I understand that. I, cool even, I even get Pogba. Pogba does some shit, cool. and it's like, bro, I just want to like you. Just be normal. <laughs> He knows what's like. You're like a player. Like, can you just be regular, please? <laughs> yeah, Pogba is. There's a lot of players internationally that low key want to be American because they love American culture, and he's mm. one of those guys. Yeah. Yeah, watch it. M- watch it. MLS when Messi goes to Miami. Pat probably would. I'm not watching that. Guess Messi if, is not coming. If, here. if I hear Ronaldo signs to the MLS team, I'm not watching. <laughs> Messi does not speak a lick of English. This man is not coming to America. He, um, when I tell you, he, he, his I heard him say he understands it, Spanish? but he but he doesn't speak. Yeah, I was to say he understands it, but he just can't speak it well. That nigga lied. He cannot say any English words. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm crying. I'm crying. <laughs> I've heard him speak so many times. They said he. They said he didn't know. The they said he didn't know English in Miami, though. <laughs> <laughs> I I I have a tremendous either. amount of, res- of players who like have like a, at least what I I I I argue are the three most important languages to kind of probably have, which is English, French, and Spanish. Yes, I, I can respect that. I can respect that. I don't think you have to do it. You do what you do what works for you. It is what it is. Because I have to explain to somebody like how do these players talk to them to talk to each other, and I'm like a lot of this a lot of the communication that you can do can be more universal symbols and line languages and you, and you understand simple words from other language other other languages and whatnot and you understand the game but yeah um because even even me a little bit when i was doing when i was doing provincial i i actually spoke more french than i did english i didn't really speak much much english uh to a lot of a lot of players that i that i played with were from more um french-speaking parts and english was their second language but wow. And, and, was on and, that and I learned talking Greek and French. And, 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 and I'm, I'm gonna say I learned a bit of and like the, the I was I was said this the, the 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 nationalities that I played the most with were um Italian, Spanish, and especially Greek. Greek I played with a lot of Greek players because when I got recruited <laughs> to Olympic Flame, Olympic Flame was a Greek team. So, yeah, so like. I learned a lot. I learned a couple of words in that language too. Even some cuss words like "Hola, Malakia, Malaka." Like you know, you learn, you learn a couple of those words just kind of being around them. So that's how it works. It's confirmed he's gonna he's he's gaining to he's gaining he's gaining to the team in Miami. Pogba is probably like soccer's Israel and the Sai and the Naya and the Saya. Uh, Stylebender, I guess. I'll say Stylebender. I can't say his name. I'm stupid. Uh, most of Miami FC are Mexican, anyways. Messi would be fine. Loki never heard Messi speak English. I don't think he. I don't think I have either. I saw the one interview that I saw. I like, said it. He's like, oh, I understand it well. I just don't speak it. Um, Messi understand all of that, so it's good. Like he understands it for the most part. But 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 I I could argue I, I could say that I I'm like that with some languages too. Languages that have a lot of overlap with French and English. It, I'm not pretending that I oh everything you said I understood, but I picked up on key words and phrases and I was able to put it together to understand you generally, or I can read it well. And that's specifically with me. It's Italian and Spanish. I do. I am not fluent in Spanish. Though I can speak very basic Spanish, I'm not an Italian speaker. But Italian is wow. not a language that I'm lost looking at or listening to. I'm not lost completely. There's a lot of le- there's a lot of words that overlap with the other languages that I know pretty intimately. That's all I can say, really. 
this was fun. I'm about to step out really quick. So. Mm -hmm. All right, brother. <sighs> Thank you for coming. It was a great game, Naya. One half a win. It is what it is. I'm actually. I feel better now. I was hard. I was more heartbroken than before. I'm, I'm, I feel better now. I'm, maybe I need That's to good. talk about it. <laughs> but. Simi. Yes. Club soccer is coming back. We will get you into these games. Champions League is. Yeah, I. I, I won't say I, it's as lit as the World Cup, but it's close. Mm. I was gonna say, yeah, Champions League is good though, and I I explained it to Vince, so I'll explain it to you after. It's not that hard. It's not hard. It's not too hard to understand how it kind of works. So I'll explain it to you, like winning the Premier League and the other cups, FA a Shield and the FA Cup and all that stuff. So I got you. Alright. If you want to know, later, if you want to know, by the way, if you want to know, it's up to you. You don't have to know if you don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, sure. But yeah, you, you can go ahead and tell me. I'm gonna listen. Yeah, say Messi versus Ronaldo in MLS. That'd be funny, but I'm not watching that. But. Oh, it was a good World Cup, though. This is this is probably my like one A one B, South Africa, and Qatar. Like both of these were 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 really good. Not that I'm not gonna hold any. you. Mm -hmm. It's it's I know it's out of the norm, but having this shit, especially that insane ass finals right before Christmas, was so gas. <laughs> so I'm already coming into freaking next week just off the gas pack. That's good. It just felt like a Christmas gift to me. Yeah. It, it 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 is always a treat when you get just a good general play. Like I I know that my team was asleep for about sixty five minutes <laughs> before they no decided. Reason. Before, like I I saw someone say earlier. I don't remember where it was, but I I still personally need to give credit to Colo because I believe Colo was the one that ignited some type of fucking urgency in our team. Because he was the only one, in my opinion, from the moment he stepped on the pitch, was like, I'm playing hard. I may be doing dumb shit and I'm out of position. I'm chasing too much and I'm fouling or I get like I do something stupid. But he wants to win, and I could always take that. Then when I see a team check out, yep, there it is. Like if you, I hate checking out because you can make fifty five mistakes. Yeah, go ahead. Right. The yeah. shit is literally not over until the final whistle, the final bell, whatever the hell. Because just as we saw, we literally saw freaking Mbappe score both of those freaking scores to um tie the game a minute within each other. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's literally not over until you hit that final whistle. So just checking out. Yeah, you fail both yourself, your team, your country, whoever the hell's, your paycheck, whoever the hell's as well. Yeah, and That's not the type of shit I'm trying to see. You gotta come and show up and just give us a, a high quality match. Because I'm like, if we go out like this, I, I have no, I can't respect it in any capacity. But we got that. I, th I think Colo drew the penalty. I could be wrong, but like he went in there and Mbappe got the one. And like I said, now that it's 2 1, it puts the winning team on the back heel. And then the, the team that's down, they get invigorated with an inspiration because now they know if they just need one goal to, to extend the game or at least give them a chance to win it in penalties, whatever the case is. It, 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 it is literally statistically the worst league to have in this sport again. I know other sports are like this, where like the, the games are usually like lower scoring and one goal is a big deal. So I could I, I would argue that perhaps this may, this might translate to hockey. If anyone is here in here is an NHL fan, let me know if that's true. Maybe lacrosse or something. I'm not sure, but I know specifically for football, soccer, definitely that way. Like I said, even the from the time that I've been playing from four to twenty five, I think four to twenty five. Like I still play, but I, I play like recreationally or men's league. It's not serious anymore. I don't play. I don't compete for anything meaningful. I have been on the receiving end of many two nothing like draws where I end up losing the game, or I'm on the opposite end where I'm losing the o, o, o two, and we come up and we end up winning or drawing the game. Like it's not it's not safe. Like again, I rather see one nothing than two nothing. Yeah, I just hate complacency in general, though. Because mm -hmm. even if you're doing a complete blowout, keep fucking scoring. Make that free. Make that four zero ten and zero type keep, shit. Yo, bro, bro, I love that you just said that. I hate that. Like, oh, we gotta show sportsmanship by showing mercy. Is, how about how's that? How is that sportsmanship? Sportsmanship is exactly, I beat you twenty twenty six nothing because I played my heart out despite the fact that you guys weren't that great. No matter what, I played my absolute best. I used to always hate that because there's games at Olympic Flame where we face teams where we're winning like nine nothing and it'll take us all out and put the reserves in. And I'm like, yo, let me put my fucking. Because to me, it's like this. 
here's how I see it. Like, I'm psychotic, right? For me, it's not even about, like, let us play the game. It's like, I want to beat these niggas so badly. Fucking 60 nothing. The biggest game that we've ever won in, with my team was a 13-0 lot. With 13-0 win. 13-0 win. We beat a team 13-0. But for me, it's like, demoralize them so fucking badly that the next time they see us, they don't even want to fucking play. Destroy them psychologically. Oh, we're winning 5-0 already? Yo, put the foot on their fucking neck. They can't even breathe. I want them to lose 20 nothing, be embarrassed, and quit the sport. That's what I want. But my coach is, no, we're winning. It's fine. It's parked about to do no more goals. Be respectful. I'm like, fuck y'all, bro. This is bullshit. Nah, yeah. It's, that's, it's, that's the exact opposite because that's that freaking, or oh, well, not even, you not in the game, not a sport, or I should say not an athlete mentality because the whole point, it's way more dis- disrespect if you don't go all out and you play with your food. You don't take your opponent seriously than taking your opponent seriously the entire time. It's way more disrespectful to see people freaking getting style points on you, chilling, then you purposely get the ball, whatever the fuck type beat, then getting a fucking 9-0, 10-0, whatever the hell, 7-0 mm-hmm. final score. I never, I yeah, I don't ever respect that. But that's not sportsmanship. Sportsmanship is playing your hardest to the final whistle, to the final bell, whatever. Not, oh, well, you know, I'm going to just throw this or whatever the hell. It's very fucking weird. Yep. It says Spain versus Costa Rica type beat, yeah, or um, when Germany beat up on Brazil, like just yo get the literally get the most amount of goals you humanly can. I don't care. That's how that's just how I see it. But like, I know that like even even amongst people that I play with, or play like well, I know who have an athletic mentality. I I do think I probably I don't know if I take it too far or just where I think, but like, cause like I honest people will say shit like. You know, so let's just say, that let's just, in revisionist history for a second, let's just say for whatever reason, France won. For a lot of people, the fact that Messi carried his team here is more than enough for them. And I understand why they say that, but you, you spoke to me enough to know if there's 32 teams, I don't care if you came 2nd, 10th, 16th, or 32nd. You fucking lost. If you don't win, you lost. That's how I see it. People go. Like, oh, LeBron went to eight straight NBA Finals. That's so impressive. Yeah, it is. Credit where credit is due. Don't take it away from him. But you're a loser. You're not winning. Why do I care if you lost? If you didn't make the playoffs, lost in the playoffs, or lost in the finals? Did you hoist the Larry O'Brien Trophy? Yes or no? You didn't. So you lost. I don't care if you're the best loser. That doesn't move me, personally. I can't speak for anybody else. For other people, maybe for them, that's impressive. If I go to the finals and I lose, I am I am extra livid because I was right there. i probably rather lose in the middle of the tournament or before and I make it. If I get to the finals and lose, I am so fucking pissed. All I have in my mind is rage until my rematch next year. That's me, though. I can't no, speak absolutely, for No, absolutely. No, I... I actually, I actually agree with that. And then, as you, the statement that you said, the line that you said that, uh, who cares about who's the who is the best loser? That perfectly states it because at the end of the day, there can only be one winner. The rest of y'all are fucking losers. Now, mm. of course, that's not dispelling what it took to got here and what not your skill to get here and all the things that you did. But at the end of the day, when it comes to team sports and shit like that, yeah, the only thing that really matters is fucking winning the chip, winning the trophy, winning whatever the hell is the biggest prize in the fucking sport. That's it. Nothing else. That's literally what you're getting paid here to do. You're not getting paid here to re- make it to second place, make it to third place. And yeah. this is coming from, and this is literally coming from the fucking pro wrestling fan, where that is is actually the complete opposite because everything fucking matters. You can't, you by yourself cannot be a star. It's everything around you. So the per, the people, a person that you're fighting, the ref, the venue, the crowd, the storyline, so on and so forth, right? Mm. But in team sports is completely different. All y'all are getting, y'all are getting paid millions and millions of dollars to fucking win. Y'all not getting paid millions and millions of dollars to fucking lose. So I don't want to hear that. You get into eight fucking, eight, eight playoffs in a row, whatever it means absolutely fucking nothing to me. Did you win also? All that, all that saying is you, you pulling a Buffalo Bills, but worse. You zero and eight. Like, come on. That, that's, that's not raw. 
That is not raw at all. That's like that's not a feat. It's not. <laughs> it doesn't move me. It doesn't mean anything to me. Again, like, and and again, I understand that. Like, I I I I try to be reasonable. Like, I actually try not to go overboard. Cause like, do you if you lost on something you've never done before, are you? personally insulted like maybe it inspires you to get better so no one could do that to you but i, I like i said like you've literally never played like european handball and you would get fucking smoked maybe it inspires you to get better at it but like you don't play it so i don't have a, a big sense of pride i could admit that's the thing that i have if i'm playing a call of duty game and i'd fucking get one kill and die six times well i can't fucking shoot i'm shit at that shit so i don't fucking feel any like Shame or whatever, even though I can get better, it's, it's not, that's something I'm good at. So I don't particularly care. But sometimes there's certain things I'm not great at or I never, never did before, and I, if I get beat bad at it, I'm like, nah, this will never happen to me again. And I'll get better at it, like fighting games. You know, like I like I said, even as something as something as unserious as Mario Kart, if I come second, I lo- I'm like, if I come second, if I see if I only see one ST, I'm pissed off. I don't care if it says two ND. The fuck is two ND? The fuck two ND? All that shit. And like you said, and like someone said in the chat, it would drive me crazy to lose in the finals and get an award. Oh, you you're the Golden Boot Award because you scored the most goals. I probably want to punt that shit over the fucking fence because the first time I got a second place medal, I threw it over the fence, and my coaches and my te- my teachers yelled at me. They got so fucking mad. We represent Sir Alexander Mackenzie. And we sportsmanship, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, I don't want this shit. <laughs> I'm so bad. I have never kept a participation trophy uh, medal or um, ribbon. I showed up? Are you kidding me? Rip. Yeah, and that's a, pro- that's a problem too, with freaking shit. A lot of things are going on in society too with this. Oh, well, you know, you participated, so here you go. Nigga, what? Why why are you getting rewarded for just being here? We don't reward that you didn't do anything. You showed up. Nigga, I showed up too. The fuck? You're right. It's we, so dumb. We reward winners. You gotta do shit to win. You gotta like, bro, y'all don't understand that freaking desire means inherent suffering. Yeah. You did not desire enough. So what the hell you getting rewarded for? Them other niggas down there over there, they desired enough. They won. What the hell? You getting some of you lost. Don't make no damn sense. That's fucking stupid. Um, This was not France's best effort this tournament, I agree. But they woke up and came back. Yep. The all that separated who won was a mar- was marginal stuff. Can never train enough for it. I agree. But it is what it is, though. Like, Fran- um, France still lost, though. I hear you. Participate in about bullshit, bro. You can never master penalties. I don't care. I actually agree with that. Um, getting rewarded for losing teaches you nothing. This is probably how Messi felt back in 2014 winning the golden ball. I agree. Like, to get that close and to... Oh, man. It's a different story when the whistle blow. I mean, pros are paid to be good and try. Fair. Yeah. That's another thing, too. I'll, like, if I'm paying paid millions to do this, like, I, 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 just, I actually admit, like, when I did a bit of semi-pro, I wasn't I wasn't getting paid on millions of dollars a game. I was getting like maybe a couple hundred per game. There's a different sense of pride you get when you're getting paid to play the sport and represent and represent like a region or a team or whatever. I do, I do feel that pressure isn't something that usually gets to me because I'm the hardest person on myself. It doesn't matter how it doesn't matter who expects what from me. I'm probably harder on myself and less forgiving to myself. So I that's a pro and a con in my opinion, but I've, I'm the hardest on myself. So pressure is not something that I necessarily ever really felt or cared about. There's very few occasions where, I, where it really got to me. But I'm the type of person that's always been, been a believer and proponent of as I don't like to deny the journey that you took and the, and the accomplishment records you may have brought and, and incredible finishes you had up until a certain point. But if you didn't come first, you fucking lost. And I don't care how close you were to it. I don't care. You lost. You're a loser. And that includes myself at times where I came second or was right there and didn't win. I was a loser. And that's simple. Oh, you lost by 0.1 seconds in this 100 meter race? Yeah, you lost. Loser. Fucking bozo. You're a loser. 
but 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 then again, that's how that's 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 the time period I came up in. It was like no pain, no gain, and da 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 da. Now I'm thinking that's oh, we're so inclusive and nice and kinder and whatnot. So they think it's different nowadays. But I didn't grow up on that. I grew up on like yo, you rip the heart out of your opponent, or what's the other thing? You 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 rip the trachea out of the throat of the opponent you're facing. <laughs> Stop on a neck. Inclusivity should just mean you you allowed to fucking play. You allowed to be here, not oh, since you here, you you getting something too, nigga. No. Right. There can be only one. Not nah, there mm-hmm. could be only one, and then everybody else who showed up too getting a little sums. No, y'all going home with tears in your eyes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nah, Bradley been um definitely getting paid to lose. Bradley, he Brady or Bradley? He Bradley. Messi gonna play uh, gonna play many amen speakers tonight at a uh, European Cup. Special, especially close to the final. Tottenham playing to lose <laughs> many men. Stop on them and then stop on them. Stop on stop 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 them in the nuts. Yep, it's gonna be awkward. Appears to be the first day back. Yes or no? I mean, I think it depends on like the temperament and personality of players. Like, if I was like Mbappe and Messi beat me, I don't think I could. I, I would like at the end of the day, it's club time. I put it behind me, but I'll let him know. Like some some shit like. I promise you, the next time, if I ever see Argentina in that fucking World Cup again or anywhere, I'll kill, I'll kill them. They'll never beat me again, whether you're there or not. You know, because you may not remember the year I believe that the was it, was it the first? No, it might have been no, it might have been the, yeah, it might have been when the, when the Lakers beat Orlando in '09. Kobe had beaten Paul Gasol in the finals of the Olympics, I believe. And he first play, he ran right into his chest and like hung the medal in Gla- and Paul Gasol's locker, all that shit. <laughs> the, 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 the USA beat Spain, and it's like, hey yo, this happened, but put that behind us. It's it's the regular season now. We're here to we're here to win a, a fucking Larry O'Brien Trophy. That's done. I'd be like that, but in a deep in a deep in the depth in the deep part of my mind and my heart, I I would be like, I will never lose to this team again. I don't care where I see them. Friendly, I'm killing them. Keep that mentality, and they'll be good. But Mbappe is a bit um egotistical, so I, I wonder how that will play out because he's definitely a bit of a, like Pat said earlier. He does like he wants the glory. He does. So we'll see. Um, it's gonna be uh, Bradley Beal, NBA Naya. Bradley Beard's like, yeah, y'all trying to come to the league to eat off my plate. PSG, the real winners of this World Cup, low key. Yeah, I was about to say Hakimi. I had Hakimi in there too. Yeah, really thought you are better than Spain. You are better Spain. Being egotistical isn't a bad thing. I think it is. I think it's one of those. I think a lot of things that happen in sports or or personality in sports are pros and cons. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a tennis example and Simi, tell me if you agree with this. Did you did you, you, I, you watch the original Pixel Tennis or read it, right? You know how, like... Um, yeah, when it was on freaking um Tsunami, anyways, I don't even remember, but I most definitely was fucking looking at that shit. You know how most places on Seigaku, it doesn't matter how down they are in games or in sets, they play every fucking um point like it's their last? Mm-hmm. I have a tremendous amount of respect for that, but it's energy-consuming, and it's not sustainable. It to the point, there's players who will be like, hey, I'm down 40, love. You can have this break point, but download complete. I've been downloading your your, your tendencies and habits. I'm going to literally let you win this and come back and kill you. And to me, there's pros and cons to both mentalities. Yep. To, to look at it, uh, analyze it, days. conserve your energy and be like, now nah, I'm going to beat you. Or to be like, I don't care what's happening. I play until you beat me down completely into submission. I can't do nothing about it. There's pros and cons to each. Go ahead. Yeah, cause there, there's no perfect. There's no perfect way to go about it. I see it in freaking combat sports all the time, when niggas, especially in title matches. That's why I don't even like watching freaking title matches in combat sports outside of pro rest because they they usually be the worst fucking fights. But I even see it all the time in combat sports where combatants will just be super passive and doing whatever, first two rounds or whatever. And if it's a normal fight, three rounds. And if it's a title match, like in the fifth round. And in the final round, they want to start doing something. 
I'm like, bro, it's too little, too fucking late. The entire match counts. Like, yeah, there is a there is a there's a strategy. Oh, well, I'ma take him into the deep waters. I'ma try to wear weather the storm and gas it. Wait till he gas himself out. So then the final da da this da da that. But I personally I'ma do or die everything. Shit, freaking um shout out my boy Momotaro's com com writer Deno. I'm at a climax from beginning to end. Do or die. Not no, I won't, you know, I'm I'm a, you know, I'm gonna chill out a little bit. Then when the later halfway, I'm gonna start doing something. But yeah, there's, as you said, there's, there's pros and cons to both because the former, you um, in the former, you um, as you said, is 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 tax heavy. You not only is it on your gas tank, but that's just gonna wear on your body, period. And in the latter, as I was saying, it's too little, too late. Sometimes it's not gonna go your way, and sometimes they might get a burst of energy. Or something might go out of whack, you know, because there's always that X variable in these things. You might try to go for something, it'll play against you, you know, weird physics or whatever the hell, right? So there's, there's pros and cons to both. I don't even remember why we was even talking about this, but I 101% always, it's not over till it's over. There's always a possibility to win. It's only over if you concede that it's over when you stop fucking trying. I agree. What's up, Omar? Yeah, and again, I I think there's pros and cons to each, but like I'm more in the camp of you got to kill me. Yeah, same. You you like, you, you, you you literally you literally got to freaking chop up my freaking body into mm -hmm. pieces and then freaking throw that shit in the ocean. Yeah, because just like that Netherlands team versus Argentina, I'm gonna keep coming back until that final whistle go to the final I'm not bell. Giving up. I'm not giving yeah. up. I can't stand, I, I I literally cannot stand just watching people give up in the game, or just pa just passiveness in general. It irritates the holy hell out of me. Anything can fucking happen. Luck is a part of it. That X variable is a part of it. You never know. Just by applying constant pressure can force a mistake or just an opening period. Relapses in minds and um thinking and whatnot. You know, just anything can happen. But when you don't try, nothing will happen. And that shit, it... Yeah. Yeah. Said so ego necessary to, in clutch moments, especially why it's why Ronaldo performed better than Messi in clutch moments. Mentality matters. Mentality, I think, is the most important thing in, in sports and mental fortitude. Like, modern the moment makes it easier to perform in the moment. I agree with that. Because I, I can could, I could absolutely attest to this. There's a lot of people with star... who are star-level players or superstars in sports who want superstar attention, but they don't want superstar responsibility, which means when, when, when a team loses, that's on you. When a team wins, yeah, you get all the glory, but when, but like to me, a hallmark of a great player and true captains with their teams or, or team or club or whatever is not doing well, and they still compose themselves and carry them through a certain type of way. I've always argued that the reason that I was always as good as I am is because of my level of pride. There was two instances where I came into a season where I was out of shape. One wasn't my fault. I was injured. The second one, it was my fault. I did not take that offseason seriously. And I remember on the first lap, just kind of just jogging around, doing like a, we're doing a, um, what, what is it? It's four, um, is it, um, it's 1600 meters timed. So I believe that's four times around our regular track, 400 meters. So, so four times you go around. I remember coming to the on, the, on the on the second lap. I'm usually in the front, right? And I'm like, the reason that I ended up winning that was because my pride wouldn't let me lose. Not because I was in better shape than them. I said, "Hey, nah, they can't beat me." <laughs> you feel that? Like, that's embarrassing. And then on that second, that third and, and fourth lap, I I picked it up, and I was gassed. And there's a lot of times where like my ego wouldn't allow me to lose. Because I ref there might be a player, a situation, or a, or some type of storyline, narrative event that refused to let me lose to a certain team. Where I'm like, no, they can't beat me. Fuck you, y'all not nice. So I think it's important. That's why I don't necessarily why people d dislike when some players are like have a little bit of like you know ego or like oh they're prideful. I like that, but I do think that it can be out of control. And if you haven't done anything or proved anything or have the accolades, trophies, or statistics to prove that you've done something, shut the fuck up. But 
I'm never. I'm generally not mad when players think they're the best because I understand you need that mentality to even be able to compete at the highest of levels. I can't say that I've personally competed at the highest of levels in football, but I've competed at very high levels in, in the sports that I've played. Not basketball, but track and field and soccer specifically, where I've played rep, provincial, which I think is the best that I've played, college, when I got a scholarship for college, and then semi-pro. I never played pro, but I did, I did semi-pro, but I got called up. And and the reason that I ended up starting for a, for the for the nine games that I was there was because on I came on I came on in the sixtieth minute and and, get, and dropped two assists. And they were like, Oh, this guy's like very good defensively and great at ball distribution, which are the two things I do the best in the sport. And I'm very fast. And I have like a Yomune type speed. And I say that like to like like not to be like oh like I'm some generation of miracles type of level of player, but I mean that in the sense that like when I was younger, Simi, my top speed was all that I had. Like if I'm, I'm like a car, I gotta go and I'm gone. But it took time. It took steps. I remember I, there's a guy on my team. His name was T Terrell. T boy, the England guy I was talking about earlier with the high pitch voice, right? He would get to his. I was faster than him. He could never beat me in long races or 100 meters, but he got to his top speed in like four steps. Like his acceleration was incredible. And I remember, because I, I, I don't know if I told you guys, uh, for a long time in my life, I used to run flat footed like this. Like, I'm not tippy-toeing. My foot is smacking the ground. That's how I ran. I mean that. And I was still dusting people, but I, that's how I ran. And I noticed he was on his tippy-toes. And he would do certain things. And because of that, I got what I call ultimate speed. That's top speed, acceleration, deacceleration, agility, and change of pace. I can be going full speed and in three steps stop and explode in the other direction and get back to my top speed in like four steps. And I learned that from him. It was hard. It's hard on my legs and it's hard on my shoes because I come out of cleats. I I wish I still had Facebook, but I could show you the picture or or or, 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 or the little video where I stop and I go and I stop left and I go right, but I come out of my left foot. Like my sh- my cleat is literally hanging off my foot. Like it's it's broken. I came out the shoe, fam. The glue could not hold how hard I had to stop. So, but I'm not. But but the thing about me is I'm strong. But I'm not as I'm not. I feel like I'm not as strong as people think that I am based on how they, when they see me. I am very strong, but it comes more so from my lower body, not my literal like arm muscles or whatever the case may be. Um, Ego wasn't starting class watching, especially when I were not. Oh, I read that. It's like one boy. Got to train that mind on phonem for sure. There's always a psychological psychological listen psychologist in sports. I I mean because you need more intense confidence and being good mental state to perform. Ego was amount night miracles. Uh, recreational only. It's it's worth not giving your best at least not to try to win friendly. Of course, Nye's a blue block character. I'm not, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, not, you're but... not talking about killing niggas. <laughs> Literally killing. <laughs> I mean, oh boy. I guess I, I guess I have said that. Like, yo, well, I, you know what? The, the the most disrespectful thing, the most disrespectful thing I've ever done one time, when I scored on somebody, and they fell, is I put I put my my um finger on their neck pulse, and I said he's fucking dead. I killed him. <laughs> I remember that game because I got a hat trick. That was one of my better games. So, but I take part on defense when it comes to football more than anything else. I like to defend. Like, you think you're so nice. I got 16 goals in 11 games, and you came to this team and you didn't get a fucking shot on net. <laughs> you're not nice. I love I love players who think they can just drop points and scores and do this. It's like you're just not going to score today. I'm here. The Great Wall of China is here. I want to erect this barrier. You're not getting it through, dog. Susan Storm, your body gives the impression that you value speed over raw power. I appreciate that. Some most people don't. They're like, oh, you're probably gonna like lift, fucking rip the tree out of the ground. I'm like, bro, I'm bottom heavy. 
You don't see my thighs? I have Chun Li thighs. Like I'm a I'm a speed merchant. Low key. So the most disrespectful thing I've ever done is literally almost knock somebody out by kicking the ball and destroying their face. <laughs> Rip their nose. Oh, I've been there. I've been in the receiving end of one of those. Playing defense is so fun because you can get cocky. You can because you can put cocky people on the floor for free. Yep. And I'll be like this. I, and 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 I won't, I'm generally like counter aggressive, like counter shit talker. I don't like initiate it. But sometimes I'll be like, this is the guy. This is the guy. This is this is this is who y'all was afraid of. I will look at the crowd. I'm like, him. I'll either put him. This guy. He's not scaring me. <laughs> But I tried to like, psychologically get into people's minds, though. That was something I, I should do. I like to psychologically break people. I got an like, extra kick at breaking somebody mentally. Like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> That's how I was. But I haven't played some. I, I would argue I haven't played anything truly competitive since I was 25. So for the last four years, I'll be 30 in um, February. So. Under uh, under twenty five was the last time I I would argue I played meaningful football that wasn't recreational or just a men's league. So that's why I want to see me go, go like, I'm gonna go for your legs. I'm like, yeah, good luck, brother. Yeah. Before you catch a <laughs> Oh, you really think so? You see, you see that? <laughs> you see that? <laughs> you see look, <laughs> that that nigga. You see, look. Then I was just having this conversation with freaking all. Uh, had the other day, but it's like, bro, nigga, you come from a non-contact sport background. You specifically you know on camera. You know what? All right. To you talk about what? when when you get fouled, you want the you want all play to stop. I want the ball back. I want everyone to acknowledge I got fouled. I want the play to stop. He's right wrong. Nigga, I'm the type of nigga where you could fucking if we if we playing football. Actual football, not American football, and you literally headbutt me in the back of my head, nigga. I'm not calling that. Let's keep fucking playing. Let's keep going. Your headbutt ain't mean shit. I listen. I love the violence. Hit me, please. I I dare you. I triple dog dare you. <laughs> oh man, fucking watching that. Watching France versus England. Watching freaking scuba diver Harry Kane do all that freaking dumb shit right. doing Sean Mike and then freaking and then Mbappe doing this weird fucking yitty jump fucking sell that he was doing at the end of the game. I'm like, bro, I hate you niggas so much. And now I don't course, sell. I don't sell calls. I promise. I just I don't. I, I hate falling because I feel like you're stronger than me if you do that. So like I like it hurts. I don't want that. <laughs> now of course there is a there is a very specific skill and strategy in drawing fouls and calling them, knowing when to try to go for them, when to try to stall for time, so on and so we even see it in sports manga all the time. But as somebody who is just a pro, uh, a prolific lover of combat and violence in general, I have zero respect for it. When I see niggas fucking do that shit, they all they rolling on the floor, holding their leg for like 40 seconds, 35 seconds. I'm like, bro, get the fuck up. The ref not calling that shit. If you see the ref don't call that shit within like the first five seconds, get up. What y'all doing? So like, bro, I'm telling you, three good low kicks placed in some place that you can't train like your fucking knee, you'll be out of here. You can't, you can't, tra- you, you can't, can't chase train soft, that like, 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 like soft tissue muscle, whatever they think it is. Like, and then that's, that's exactly what, that's exactly yeah, what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 I ain't, nigga, I'm not going for, I'm not going for your fucking dice or nothing like that, nigga. First, I'm going to hit, nigga, I'm going to hit you with one good fucking, um, forgot what that kick is called. It was kind of like, it's like a stomp. It's like a stomp to your fucking shin, right in your fucking kneecap, low kick right to your hamstring. Nigga, stop. There's places to aim for that you can't train, that this human body cannot train. Mm-hmm. Shit. And then on top of that, physics out. You a strong nigga, but physics still exists. Single leg, pull back, um, heel hook. Nigga, I'm sorry. Your greatest asset will be gone. I want it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> but... Yeah, just that's, and I mean, that's what uh, Pat was telling me the, uh, the other day as well. That's why a lot of the African teams get freaking uh, 
get taken out of here because they don't be calling fouls and shit. They just keep playing. Like, that nigga not stronger than me. But I just, yeah, it says someone who's a, a combat sport enjoy, well, primarily a combat sport enjoyer. Yeah, I just, seeing niggas selling and rolling on the floor, trying to call these fouls. I'm like, bro, just keep playing. Yep. Nigga, kick, kick me in my fucking leg. Oh, you know, that's shit. That's a foul. That's yellow. Well, you know what, Simi? Like, you're taught fuck, to play. You're, you're, they're, taught, they're taught to do that in football. Because yep, even I me, I'm a, even me, they're like, yo, sell that. I'm like, well, sell the what? The second you. The you, first <laughs> time I heard sell that, I'm like, sell what? They're like, no, like, <laughs> when you get like hit like that, like, embellish to, to the ref thinks you got fouled. I was like, that guy is five foot six. I cannot let the ref think that he put me on the ground. I, I refuse. And the second you feel just a little bit of wind tickle the fabric of behind your compression sock, sell mm. that. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Simi. I just can't. Simi. <laughs> like when like like I I to some degree there's there's moments where I get it. I, w- I cannot look anybody in the eye and say I've never sold a legitimate foul, but I that's rare. But if you didn't foul me, I'm not dropping. I don't care. And a lot of times when you do foul me, I if I have an advantage, don't blow that fucking whistle because I don't don't do it. Just let me get the space because I'll go. I'm gone. Because um, there's one situation where like I was going in between some people and I got kind of got tripped. And like my, and I kind of did the thing where like my legs kind of like did a split almost, but like I was still up and I wanted to keep going. And my coach was like, "Why don't you just like drop to the ground and roll you in the box?" And I'm like, "Cause like I was confident that I could have scored normally. I don't need the call to bail me out. Cause what happens a lot of times? This is what happens. Sim, you get in the box. I say you beat me, and then you get hit by somebody else. It's like okay, or or you think you're gonna beat somebody else? Okay, it's okay." Uh, you beat me, but I nick you, but you already knew that you were going to beat the next defender. You just drop because you're like, all right, see what I can get here. I don't like that shit. Me neither. Yeah. Or me neither. To be, be having sweatshops in Asia, pressing mad messy shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The messy jersey about to go crazy for sure. Mbappe probably too, low key, but. Oh. Yeah, but that, that just goes to show that I don't have the freaking mentality for or just non-contact in general. Because none of that moving, like nigga, let's get physical. I would like to get physical, please. Because even if said, you I'm, I'm counter aggressive, if you come to me and you, like you don't touch me or anything like that, I'll play. I'll play finesse. I'll be pretty elegant, yada yada. But the, like if like if I'm playing against Sibby and Sibby throws an elbow on my chest, the thing he's getting back with the frame one without hesitation is an elbow on his fucking chest. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's but yeah, that's it. Just goes to show just a just a diff the difference in mentality and mindset. Cause yeah, I, some of that selling I was seeing in them games, man. Now, now some shit was egregious. Like, why are you pulling on niggas' jerseys? Just don't, just don't close your fingers. Like when, like when they find, like when they find over the ball near the near near the line, you know, we got arms out. They trying to they trying to check each other. That makes perfect sense to me. But why, why y'all closing y'all fingers and grabbing jerseys? This don't make no sense to me. Don't do it. It's not gonna end well. <laughs> Just and I, oh man, they be real egregious with. I mean, I mean yanking, yanking that co- whatever the hell them shit's made out of. Probably not you even know, cotton. Somebody, somebody <laughs> damn near tried to fucking pants me against some couple of games, bro. Like, bro, my my butt cheek. It's hanging out. If you go any lower, my dick gonna pop out my shorts. Can you relax up back there? <laughs> like I don't like a push, a shove, body checking, shoulder block. Um, you know all that makes perfect sense to me. But bro, why are you pulling? Like you know that's not gonna go well, no matter what, where you do it, how you do it. Why are you? Pull? Of course, until unless you just trying to slow down the pace. But just like dang, y'all up. Or whatever, and a nigga just pulled a fucking jersey and then crossed like a fucking free corner or whatever. I'm like, bro, why? Stop closing your fake. I just, it don't make no sense to me. <laughs> if you want to just, I would rather, I would literally rather you just fucking shoulder blind nigga down the fucking block nice. instead of you pulling the jersey. Because it's what? so egregious, it's so obvious, no ref is going to catch it. 
and, 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 and it's so funny sometimes because, like, <laughs> one time, I'm like, this is literally, like, wind resistance training. Like, he's pulling my jersey as I want to run or run against the wind, like, with, to the ball. And I'm, I'm still getting there. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe these workouts were worth something. <laughs> But there's sometimes like, but and, and like I said, one this is one fo- sport I play where people did the gayest shit to me, trying to get under my skin. It was football, bro. Somebody would just ru- run their fucking hand up the crease of your bum hole, bro. Give you a wedgie. Just do, just do gay shit. Just try to get under your skin. And I'm like, I can't, I can't react. That yeah, that that shit is funny to me. That shit is just so funny to me. Like when I learned that there's a specific strategy in fucking um amateur wrestling where you just put your fingers in a nigga ass that shit is so fucking because some people have, some some men men have a visceral like, yo the fuck fucking touch like, yeah. like, mm-hmm. like, just don't don't touch my butt like yo <laughs> yo they just they just say some sus ass shit in my ear bro yeah none of that shit bother me <laughs> see none of that shit what, bother me it doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me but like I like I don't like being touched <laughs> in general I don't know you like that was just like, I know you're doing this specifically to get under my skin. I will not give it to you, no matter what. You won't get it. I rather, it, but but you could talk. You could talk crazy to me. That's fine. Words don't bother me nearly as much as you like doing shit to me. But like, if you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna find your fucking your family, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. And like, yeah, all right, bro, you got it. Like, just shut up over there. Like, you're not nice. And then if I if I beat you and I score or something, I'm gonna just look at you. <laughs> what happened? So when you go find my family again? <laughs> Ain't nothing better than you do that. Did they, they talk so much? You you still score? You drop a dime or something happens? And you just look at them like, you know you're a clown, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I don't freak. That's I. I mean, I love shit talking, but I would personally never shit talk. Like especially your interview before the game thing. I ain't saying none of you. I'm. Pulling my goat, fucking Sakura, but then I'm not taking interviews at this time. I'm not even looking in the camera. I'm not even looking at nobody's eyes. I just walk away. Mm-hmm. All comments will be left till after the fucking game, after the match, or whatever. Because anything could fucking happen, and them niggas always mm-hmm. get caught with they ass out. Say the most egregious stuff, then fucking lose. And I'm like, look at you. You only have yourself to blame. Mm-hmm. Netherlands be pl- grab pleasure grab blues by the balls. Oh, how that happened to me? No way you can accidentally grab people. Yep, tug of jerseys, boot camp. Them gay frogs be wild and blue dots going crazy. They be blowing in your ear like Lance Stevenson. Yep. Um, they ever had a hard on while you do it? There's there's two occasions where I'm like, is this nigga like hard behind me, putting his or like his like semi hard dick against my fucking butt cheek? You know <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so Sean needs to be arrested. I like shit. I want shit. We can use the easy way. We use the hard way. The choice is yours. Yeah, bro. I've had some foul shit up to me. You have to understand too. By the time I was sixteen to about like nineteen, before I went to like college and like semi pro stuff, I was well known in in like Canada, Toronto, Scarborough, specific Markham, specific areas, York Region, GTA, Greater Toronto area. I was well known. So I was a player that people prepared for. Does that make sense? And with that being said, I actually like, I kind of like those games a lot where they're so hyper fixated on me. And I'm like, I'm not a scorer. So I'm going to just doop, pass the ball off to everybody else. And I'm good. I actually like those type of games. I might have no goal. Yeah, because but... it, it, it unintentionally opens up so much space exactly. for your team. When they triple teaming you, maybe quadruple teaming you sometimes, and it's just, mm-hmm. you know, free real estate to your app. right? Well, mm. Thank you, dog dealer. Deal, W. You know, I'll be trying to be cute, bro. I'll be trying. They said, nah, sports never beat a gay after this story. No, sports, sport, sports are the gayest thing I've ever done in the history of my life, bro. Niggas don't care. They just try to win. They don't care how they look. They're not trying to cheat. You ever heard the saying, you're not trying to cheat, you're not trying to win? They don't care, bro. They're trying to win. So, Naya likes this. Are you are you are you also a pillow princess? What does a pillow princess mean? I have I have four pillows. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know I'll be double cheeked up on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, butt smack and all that. Yeah, yeah, it's us, but it is what it is, man. But all that being said, I've lost today. I concede. 
It's over. Shout out to France. I believe in y'all again next next tournament. And Mbappe, I'm gonna be watching you a lot more. Um, see how you grow and improve as a player. I want you to um, I want you coming to the next World Cup as a much more evolved player, better leader, vocal leader, captain, all those kind of, maybe maybe captain level, all of those things. We'll see how the other the other players shape out because I'm pretty sure it's Giroud and, and Benzema and Pogba. Actually, Pogba. Pogba might be around my age. He might have one more in me, one more in him. Might be okay, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, it's it. Pape and Giroud vibes when they're when they're holding each other. Yeah, I feel that. Um, if you don't look gay, you're not trying to win hard enough, Naya. I didn't say that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, England. Hope you lose again. Feel that. Twenty-seven year old prime Mbappe is a scary thought. I kind of agree with that. It was written for Messi. And end of the day, he looked like a man on a mission. He really was. He looked focused. He looked locked in more often than not when I saw him. He looked locked in. So, well-deserved. Great World Cup. Fantastic matches throughout. I thought even though we, France, as France, we decided to not play for 70 minutes or 65 minutes, whatever it was. When we came alive, man, it really pushed that game to its, like, it looked like to, like, to, like, nail-biting final moments, and it was great. So, sports is the gayest thing I've ever done. No, I don't <laughs> It's not. It's kind of not wrong, but yeah, great stuff. It is what it is. As a Ronaldo fan, I concede. I think he's the second best of all time. The reason I say that very confidently, by the way, is I'm not a. I don't think Pele is the best Brazilian. Oh, oh no! What did he say? Ha ha ha! Yeah, I don't think um, Pele is the best Brazilian. I think Maradona is better than him. Uh, Messi is the greatest of all time, though. Um, and while people have Ronaldo the Phenomeno and stuff like that over him, over over uh, CR7, I think that's fucking crazy. I don't believe it, but I think that Messi is uh, Leon Messi is the greatest player of all time. It is what it is. But is it Maradona did crack? <laughs> he's like he's just like me, bro. They are just like me, cocaine addicts. But but still, I feel it though. But y'all be safe, man. I'm gonna go chill out for the rest of my Sunday. Be back tomorrow or Thursday with Cabrera. I'll be safe.